you think LeBron James could beat Alexander the Great in a fist fight? Yes. Alexander the Great. He's literally the great. The great. He's never jumped before. What back the- in back in the eighteen hundreds, they had no reason to jump. So nobody ever jumped. LeBron James has been doing jumps. <laughs> Niggas said they didn't invent jumping. They didn't until invent jumping yet, bro. Eighteen hundreds. Bro, Alexander what Great was never doing fuck? that, bro. He was never doing that. What does bro. that have to do with anything? He's athletic. <laughs> LeBron is going to do a jump punch and he's going, What the demon? And he's gonna <laughs> fucking Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Race Podcast, episode number 132. I'm your host, DWK Darius. I'm here with one of my co-hosts, Tyrone, in the building. So it was good to the people. You know, the big fed, you know, federal. Big top federal. Op shit, the know, toppest man. of the ops. Biggest of the ops, you know. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you're new, put in the comments that you knew. You're welcome to the fam, you know what I'm saying? Because we've been getting a lot of followers recently. So shout out to all y'all. Like the video. If y'all don't get us to 50 likes, Tyrone, what are you going to do to these people? Um, if you don't get us to 50 likes, I'm not going to lie to you. I think I'm going to wish a really, really bad week upon a minor. <laughs> like, I'm talking about severely bad week upon. So, a, mi- a minor in your family is going to have a bad week. Yeah, like, so- I'm talking like car crash, failing exams. Their mom's going to yell at them. They're going to cry. They're going to think about running away from home. It's going to be a bad week. So, mm. just... Just don't do it, guys. Yeah, so do, just, just you know, just like the video. A like is free, a subscription is free. Follow all the socials. Twitch is coming soon. Or, I mean, Twitch is already up and running. Follow us on Twitch. Get us to 100 uh, followers on Twitch. And, yeah, we're going to be streaming more games. We might stream right after this pod, right, Ty? Yes, sir. What game are we playing? Um, That's what I was thinking about. It might be um, Helldivers. Yeah. Or Warzone. Whichever. There's Which, also mad games that I have on my PC that I might just run up. So. Type shit. So follow the Twitch if you want to see us outside the podcast. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of good things happening. We got, got a lot of good topics to talk about. The one topic I want to talk about before we start everything is that Kendrick Lamar is mid. And I'm okay to say that. That's how I was just going to put his headphones on and say a rebuttal, but I got some <clears throat> fire with that guy. All right. I don't know why you dissing Drake, my brother. He going to come after you and the feds. He has loyalties and royalties inside his DNA. I just gotta put that out there. But you thought you thought that was a cool bar. That shit was kind of hard, bro. That be- so, no, that was, you know what's crazy? That was his worst bar, and it was fire as fuck. But who liked it? The white. No, people. but that was that was a radio hit. That was that was just for the radio. That's all. Just literally, let me just make some bread because people be stupid. So let me just throw some bread out there, bro. Kendrick Lamar. Is so overhyped. But also, his beats aren't, like, for example, like, J. Cole. That's what I was saying before. J. Yeah. Cole, his beats and the way he raps is, like, literally anybody can just gravitate and hop on it. So anytime I ask white person, oh, who's your favorite rapper? Oh, yeah, J. Cole. J. Cole's nah, so tough. Like J. Cole's so nice. Yeah, J. Cole, he's lyrically a god. They don't say Kendrick. Bro. Because Kendrick would be, like, actually spitting about one, black, like, black problems. They do. They can't resonate to black problems. They try to. They try, but they can't. So they so they like ah okay he's he's cool. If you say Kendrick's cool, they are gonna go with it. And then also his beats be like nowadays be on some like wacky like some weird stuff. <laughs> so that's why they're not about to go with it. Whereas but, J Cole, he's literally like little baby, bro. He sounds the same with everything. I, I don't like J Cole no more. I don't really like honestly, bro. I just thought that Kendrick is like I don't understand how people could just like bump Kendrick before a game and get hyped. You gotta listen to the right song. Like you see, you song? listen to the wrong songs. What bro. song are you listening to before a game? Who listen? I'm not gonna. I don't listen. Ah, like uh, uh, um, swimming pools. Easy song to listen to before a game. Swimming in the street. Is that it? That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> swimming <laughs> pools is uh, 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 swimming pool for liquor. Uh, then I dive and that one. Come okay, on, that's not that bad. Yeah. That's not that bad. That or like uh, if you're really a Kendrick fan, um, or or you could go like. Hood Politics, that was on his Pimp Butterfly. I'm oh, just... Uh, 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 boo-boo. Uh, that wait, one. what was the one I was seeing? Uh, uh, that, that's... Uh, that's Swimming Pools. No, that's not Swimming Pools. That's... I thought it was Brace po- yourself, I'll take you on a trip down memory lane. This is not a rapper rhyme. Say this is a cracker do cocaine. Like, I could go in for days on that. <laughs> but that one's OD. Then, um, you. his other tape, The Untitled, Unmastered. You could listen to one or seven. Yeah. Um, seven. 
Seven, levitate, levitate, levitate. You know that one? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he, he goes hard. He has plenty. But when I tell you, if you ask a white person, people, if you're watching this podcast or listen to the podcast on Apple Music, Spotify, all that stuff, if you have a friend that's white, ask him who's his favorite rapper, black rapper. He's going to say Kendrick Lamar. He's going to say J. Cole. No, he's not. Money on J. Cole. <laughs> no, he's not. Yeah, I'm telling you. White people love J. Kendrick. They love J. Cole because he's so free. He's so easy to just, oh, that bar was hard. And he's saying regular shit. Man. I hate J. Cole. Do you really? <laughs> yeah, I, I think you just hate him because he played basketball. He was ass though. He made it. He made it like overseas, like and made bread. Cause his name J Cole. No, no, that's not it. Nah, he averaged one point. I promise you, I was averaging more. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you locking him up? I don't think you locking him up, low key. Lock him up? I might actually. You think so? Nah, maybe. He can't guard me though. That's a guarantee. Oh no, no, I don't that's a hundred percent guarantee. Like, that's how does J Cole like forty? Probably like 37. 37? Damn, bro. Yeah, bro. That nigga really made it to the league over... Oh, not the league. He made it to the Cause, fucking... Because of his name, bro. What, he play in Africa? <laughs> yeah. That's wild. You know you know how many people in the NBA said they would never play in Africa? Wait, for real? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Like, <laughs> nigga right, said no, I would never play in Africa under those conditions. <laughs> Yo, Giannis said it. What's that? But, <laughs> oh, yeah. Go show me your drink, bro. I was going to say, I'm thirsty as hell. Freaking... Um, Today we got hint. It's zero calories. That's why I have to go. Mm. We watching on our calories now. We trying not to be fat because you know fat people aren't respected. But um, some some fat people are respected. We got hint. Um, not by me. Are you sure? Yeah. There's the, there's not one fat person. Let me taste this first. Mm. This was. Is it elite? It's elite. It's elite. It's elite. Oh, oh, I'm so mad. Wait, it's mid. Oh my god, this is so underwhelming, bro. Wait, let me try. Oh my god, <laughs> bro. Is this, what the? This spark? <laughs> it is water infused with blackberry essence. Oh yeah, no. Oh man. Ingredients. Oh, ingredients. So purify water and natural flavors. Oh man, that was just water. Oh, this is nasty. That was the worst. Oh my god, nah, that is that, the perfect name for it, but god. Mangala is very like refreshing though. Like <laughs> that's like if you put like fruit in like like you know, you just put fruit and then just add water to it. No, it's like you put fruit in it, add water, and then take the fruit out. Yeah. You didn't mix it up though. No, no. That's not bad. That's not that bad. I would, Bro, it's just water. I'd rather have water than have the hint of Whatever. <laughs> That's literally the name. Yeah, I'd rather <laughs> like you thought it was Bro, I thought it was carbonated. Oh, I thought so too. I was expecting a carbon because I shook it and it was like. Oh. Do you like um? It's bubbly, bro. Man, that's a, that's an artificial name. Do you like um sparkling water? Absolutely love it. Mm. We also drink beer now. You're a beer drinker. Yeah, bro. What is what has happened to you? Like, what type of beer? And I'm gonna judge you. <laughs> like a Coors Light? Nah, Mikla Ultra. I'm godly. Okay, okay, that's yeah. not bad. If you would have said like a Heineken. Now you're nah, losing. Nah, yeah. Heineken is like if there's a Heineken, I drink it. You you're losing me. If you said a Budweiser, you uh, lost me no, even Budweiser more. Is <laughs> Budweiser is like I'm not gonna lie. Your dad definitely has a Budweiser. In the nah, he don't got no Budweiser. We drink. They drink. Uh, he got Modelo's and oh, yeah. Corona. That is the most father. Right. Fa- so Modelo's. This is what I'm gonna say, right? Yeah. That is the most Filipino thing. <laughs> To have. No, Filipino and Spanish. That that that's why I said yes. because I was gonna say that is what like Hispanics have, but the Filipinos are like the Hispanics of yes. the Asian. So that's why I'm like that is the most Filipino thing. It is, have. bro. In your crib is having Modelo. Modelos and Coronas, bro. But Coronas is like a, is a father drink. That's a super super fun. A father drink, bro. Like, have you ever had? A, you had a drink with your dad yet? Like, um, what was, like, what was your first drink you had with your dad? I think that's like a rite of passage for uh, so a young man. It's, it's, it's like. We had a drink, but we ain't really have we ain't have a drink. Like so, like, <laughs> we drank near each other, but Dude. we ain't have. We went, me and my dad went to dinner, right? He came up and we went to dinner, and yeah, I'm old, I think I was like 22. I was like I'm old enough to drink, so I'm like, mm-hmm. let me get a usually like let me get a pina colada. Keep the alcohol, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Now I don't gotta get a virgin, but now I'm like I yeah. think I think that's what I got. Mm-hmm. And my dad got a Long Island iced tea. He always that's his thing. Yeah, and when I was like. I never had one. Are those good? And he was like, mm, not bad. Try it. And I was like, you know what? Scratch the pina colada. Let me get a Long Island iced tea. <laughs> and I had an LIT. And I drank it. But then I was like, this was pretty good. I want another. But then I was like, 
can't order another one. Because there's Wait, another thing, too. I was 22. Okay. But I'm like, there's like a um, like a thing. Like He knew I was drinking since I was like 17 and shit. Yeah, Tyrone's a bad influence. That, <laughs> he was doing drugs at how old? That, I never did drugs. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... It was like 17 and I remember uh cuz he I remember he used to like he knew we were drinking. I would talk to him about that shit or it would be like um say people come over cuz mm-hmm. you remember he used to always chill in my dad's crib and yeah. have alcohol. Uh-huh. He would know and shit. But I know um it's like a thing like respecting like I never drink with my dad. I probably never will drink with my dad. But like it like, was like he drank, I drank, and it was like, I right, you can drink alcohol with me, but you can't get drunk with me. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Feel me? It's, it's like you can't get drunk. When what I say you? by drink, I mean like you pass your dad a beer, like, and you cheers that shit, and you just sit uh, down and watch. I never did that. To, I never, to I never this did. day, I never did that either. Yeah, I was gonna say to this day, I never did it. Like Thanksgiving, yeah, I'm drinking alcohol. Yeah, but like I never like with him. Yeah, I never did that. Be like so, you sat down, you watch like the Knicks game or something. Be like, here, take this, bro, and then you just sit down and watch the game. That's a about that's about a rite of passage, bro. Like, yeah, uh, you're a man now. Yeah, no, I haven't got that yet, bro. Like, I, that's it. Like, he's bought me bottles of alcohol before. Like, we went to Costco, and he was like, I'm going to get you some groceries. And then I saw a little liquor section. I was like, man, that's a nice section. <laughs> and he was like, you want to get a bottle? I said, run. <laughs> you know, I'm a bottle of Tito's, but, like, yeah, I never. You never, like, clink. actually, like, like. Clink, and now like, we drink it together. No, like, I never did that. Like, bro shit? Nah. It's tough, bro. I don't think I ever will. I don't think. Yeah. You don't think so? Because he. He he's the type of dude not to like. I don't know. It's like I don't think I ever will either, Loki. Yeah, like it's just out of like respect. Like, nah, I'm your dad. Like, <laughs> like yeah. are you ever you gonna do that with your son? Nah, nah. I I don't think I ever drink with my son actually. Dang, bro. If he's ever drunk around me, I will probably slap him. <laughs> like, he could drink bro. around me, but if he's stupid drunk around me, I would probably slap him no matter how what his age is. Oh no, yeah, nah, stupid drunk. If it's he's crazy. fat, I'll slap him too. Nigga say if he's fat. Tyrone and the fat shaming, bro. If y'all want to see that episode on Patreon. Yeah, I went I went on a tangent about um, obese people. Specifically obese. We got to be specific here. Um, if you call yourself fat, that doesn't mean you're fat. It's really up to if... I how could, it looks. If I think you're fat one. So no, it's, uh, it's up to... Oh, yeah, how it, not even how it looks. Because you may look at yourself and be like, I'm fat. So Tyrone hates me. No, it's... <laughs> it's if you're obese. <laughs> Like, you're overweight. Like, you can't... Like, can you watch my 600-pound life? Can you, what do you mean? Can you watch it? Like, can you watch that? Uh, probably, like... Uh, no, I can't. I'll be in utter disgust. Oh, yeah. That is... That is kind of Yeah, nasty, I'll be in right? utter disgust. Because you... Uh, I will literally throw up. I seen a girl on there. She was, like... She she was so sad she couldn't get up off her bed. Do you know you know how mad I'd be? Yo, I... Like, imagine you can't get off your bed. Uh, bro, that's what I'm saying. That's what... Like, all right, so... You're so big that you can't go up the steps. Yeah. Like, it's different if you can't go up the steps because you're hurt. But because this is how you live your life, you eat that much. Also, for you religious Christians, it's a sin to overeat. Mm. All right? Gluttony. Look it up. Fucking <laughs> greed. If you don't need that food, don't You don't eat. need it, bro. But, like, how do you get to that point? Like, what point do you look at just and be like, damn, I'm type fat. Like, this shit, like, again, like, like, I feel like once I hit, like, like... Once I walk up the, I don't even, not even, I don't want to get to like, once I walk up the stairs, I, I can't, I'm I think it's when you look at the mirror, because you could tell your body shape changing. Like, I could yeah. tell like, during COVID, I'm like, I'm getting a little bigger. Yeah. And I'm like, I need to start running. That's what I said. I'm getting a little bigger. Let me start running because I'm looking bigger. Uh-huh. I remember one time I saw a video of myself. I was like, why well, I look so big? I'm like, all right, we got to fix some stuff. I got to, let me start sweating. Yeah. I got to start sweating somehow. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, bro. Because I feel like they don't realize, like, you be, you be that big, but you could lose weight mad quick. If you just, like, one. don't eat that See, much. Yeah, and literally. Drink water, you be good. And eat, when you eat, you got to eat, like, protein. Yeah, so like, these niggas, muscles, I, bro, yeah. I seen this one lady. She took, like, I remember, <laughs> I remember there was, like, a family. They was, like, all big. And, like, they bought, like, big family. Bro, they bought, like, 30 pies of pizza. And mm. like it was the two the two biggest ones picked it up, so they were able to walk and move and drive. Nigga, nigga was driving home. They already ate like six boxes on the way home. On the way home, ate like how do you six. even eat that much? I don't know, bro. Like they were just scarfing that. But shit. see, like your stomach gets bigger the more you eat. You have to train your stomach to get smaller again. But that's yeah, that's what so I'm nice. saying. Because like now when you when you eat more, like your stomach expands. That's why. But like that's the same thing when I be watching like the professional eaters, like how they're so skinny. But I think yeah. that. But like a lot of them are like really like extreme athletes. Like I know, yeah. and like they don't eat that many calories yeah. as so like they'll eat mad food but it's calorie 
dense? Is that the word? It's like... It's not, it doesn't have a lot of calories in it. So it expands their stomach without them having yeah, to eat calories. But yeah. they also... A lot of them are like... They're like cyclists and like runners. Mm. So like they'll they'll probably won't... Burning they won't calories. eat like that every day. But like if they do eat like that, they'll like go burn... They're like burning mad calories. Burn off like as much calories as they eat. So I remember yeah. I watched this one dude. Like bro, I had like a weird like so thing, my, obsession. My guy, the Glizzy King. Who? The Asian guy? No, nah, the white dude. Oh, oh, Joey Chestnut. Jo- my boy. No, nah, no, nah, I, I wa- He didn't have a YouTube. There was, there was other oh, people yeah. on YouTube. Like there was like <laughs> the, the Asian guy. Okay, yeah. I used to watch him, and then there was one guy. His name was like Eric the Electric. Like he used to like he was like a cyclist, but he like eat mad food. Like so he'll like. I might have to start bike riding. Is that a free way to burn calories? Yeah, it depends how far you like ride. Like, you gotta ride like like miles. Like I'm talking like ten, twenty. I might have to start doing that. That's cool. Like I don't like. I'm not gonna lie. Like. He would he would like eat like ten thousand calories in one sitting, and then he'll go like a hundred mile bike ride and like burn off like six thousand. So yeah, that's you could burn off. You I mean, if you calories. you could do bike riding, but like you just got a bike like far. I might like, have to get a bike this summer. Like I got I got a bike in I haven't rode my bike in a while. Like you know when we was younger before yeah, we, had we used whips, to always yeah <laughs> come on niggas the bikes were the way oh my god I was gonna say before you were like how um whatever like I'm gonna have a fat kid I said impossible. Yeah. Uh-huh. Impossible. It's impossible because one, I'm not going to marry a woman who has fat jeans. What is a fat jean? So there, are, you know, some people, are, <laughs> some people, unfortunate, where in their family, they're more susceptible to keeping their weight and holding their weight, right? Yeah. And there's a lot more, like a lot of Hispanics end up being <laughs> able to hold their weight, right? Which is fine. There's a lot of Hispanics who are, who are skinny, whatever. Yeah. Don't matter. But when I meet somebody. What's your mom look like? <laughs> what your dad look so, like? So what if like when she's pregnant, she has a kid and she gained the mom weight? She's going to gain the mom weight. Yeah. It's going to go away. It's going to... That's, <laughs> gotta, that's, that's the thing. So now it's got to go away because if you have the fat genes, it's going to stay. Mm. So it's like if I see your mom, your mom's big and your grandma's big, your auntie big, and you skinny right now, that means give it a couple years, you're going to be big. Mm. And I can't go for that because then my, my kid might be big and then I'm going to have to, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Pity. Like, I just, like, where did this all come from? This is just bad. This is just, like, just knowing, like, like I I don't want to be big at all. Yeah, I'm yeah. the last you're, person. I don't, think I, you, I don't think you ever be big. Yeah. Personally, but, I don't think you have, like, the mental capacity to be a fat person. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like that, that takes a lot. Like, because now, yeah. damn, now you got to feed them. You really have to be a bum to be fat. Mm, that is true. And if you're offended by that, just get up and run at me. Fuck. But I was saying now, <laughs> go run a mile or something. Wow. Then, like, wow. Let me let me change the subject before it gets worse. Because I was about to ask him. So wait, I have a question before you go. Go ahead. What is the worst thing? Because I thought about this while I was waiting at your door. Yeah. For like thirty minutes. What, what's it called? The first. What is the worst thing that you have said to a kid while we were working camp? Because you know it's starting to get nice and camp's gonna come back around. Ooh, like what a- is the worst? Like not even like necessarily you said it on purpose. Yeah. But like in terms of like. Damn, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Mm, actually, I, I got to go in. But for people that don't know, we're talking... Because me and Tyrone work at a basketball camp for our basketball team. Mm-hmm. So we work with a lot of kids. The one mm-hmm. thing I said to him is like, bro, you not even that good to be shooting like that. Like, <laughs> and when he took it to heart? Yes. He, he started throwing chairs. <laughs> I was like, bro, like, yo, yo. You're not that good to be shooting right it was, now, bro. It was... Like, I'm not going to say no name, but it was, you, it was the one kid that you guys... Wait, how old was he? He was... He got to have been like nine, eight oh or nine. Oh, my God. Bro, he was he was one of the kids that Scum. that brought him up from the younger ones because he was just dominating. So I'm like, all right, he's playing with. I'm I'm coaching the oh, yeah. eleven to thirteen year olds. It was the one that you was gassing up, the one that I was shooting all the time. Yes, that my one. boy. Yeah, so he was on my team. I you picked him up. Disrespected him, bro. I was like, because he would not pass the ball. He so I'm like, pass. bro, I'm not gonna play if you don't pass the ball. And he gets mad. I'm like, bro, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yo. And then one time he did some BS and like someone was wide up. I said, Time out. I'm like, yo, get out. And he started being mad throwing stuff. I'm like, bro, you couldn't do that. You're not that good to be shooting the ball anyway. <laughs> to an eight year old kid. <laughs> I felt so bad. I think it was tough, bro. My boy was tough. He was bro. mid. Now, that was... I remember you remember Sinaj. Sin- S- Sinaj, bro, dreads. Red yeah, dreads. yeah, yeah. Nigga Brim. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's my yo, that's my dog. I love Sinaj. But I remember we I was having a because you know, he's been coming to camp forever. Yeah, yeah. So I remember he came up to me. He was like, talking about something. Yeah. And now now I'm having a, a big brother talk with him. And he's like, he asked me, he said, why'd you cut your hair? Because I showed him my thing with the hair or whatever. He said, he looked at the highlights and he was like, I looked at the highlights. Yo, you, you used to have hair. What happened? You you yeah. cut your twist. And I was like, he's like, why'd you cut it? I'm like, 
like now I'm not even in like smart mode. I'm in like, bruh. I'm like, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I, yeah. so I was like, uh, I told him, I said, I cut it because one people didn't take me as serious. I'm m- mind you, just for you guys to know, Sinaj has dreads. Like, yeah, he yeah. has long, long dreads. dreads. Yes, long he dreads. has long dreads. <clears throat> and great kid. And I'm telling him like, yeah, when I had hair, people didn't take me as seriously. When I played basketball, um, like you know, people just only saw me as a basketball player. And also like, when getting jobs and stuff, like you see, like obviously the black a black guy with dreads, and if they're not like neat or they just twist or anything like that. You're automatically being judged, whereas yeah. with the low cut, you're you know what I'm saying obviously it's conforming to the white man. But and I was teaching, and he was like, he was telling me, he was like, oh, but how are you gonna let um, white people tell you what to do <laughs> and this and that, whatever? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, it's not about that. Yeah. Do you like if you want to make a million dollars, right? You're about to make a million dollars, but they tell you, you gotta cut your hair. He'll be like, no, I don't want your money because you're telling me how to live my life. That's not smart. No, give me a million dollars. Yeah. I'll cut my hair and I'm going to grow oh. it back once I, you know what I'm saying? I'll exactly. grow it back when I yeah. want it. But I was telling him that and I said the whole thing and he was like quiet because he was actually listening to me. So, uh-huh. I, and I'm telling him like, that's why I cut it. Like, and I, I got so much farther in my life without my hair because of that. <laughs> and then I, I didn't realize and I looked to my right and look at him and I'm like, oh, I forgot you. <laughs> and he was like. Like he like it was like he wanted to cut his hair. I ain't gonna lie to you. And his mom, I don't know if you have ever seen his mom. His yeah. mom is a, a correctional officer. Yeah. And she's like a I'll elbow you in the face if you even look at me crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. she don't play that. Yeah, yeah. So I remember she came in and uh and I was like, no, no, I remember I was like, wait, 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 wait. Don't tell your mom. Like I was worried he went and told his mom, like, yeah, my basketball coach told me to cut my hair because dreads are not gonna get me far in life. <laughs> <laughs> she would have came in there, yelled at Locke, thinking Locke said it, yeah. and it would have been me. Yeah, it would have been bad. Yeah, I'd have been Max. I think that was the worst thing I said by accident, bro. I shouldn't have said that to that little boy. I don't think I called them. I don't think I called anybody names though. Like, I, I definitely didn't call. Like there been there been times where kids like annoyed the hell. I mean, I'm like, yo, you mad annoying? But that's the only thing I said. Like I didn't say nothing crazy. Cause like you know you gotta realize now, right? Like I watched that um that Nickelodeon documentary. Have you watched that? Hmm. There's a Nickelodeon documentary. Like, nah, I was like, wait, Nickelodeon documentary? Nah, I didn't see that. There's a documentary about talking about how like Nickelodeon was like the dark side of Nickelodeon, like how they were like, t- like low key like. Uh, oh, what's mess- the, word? the the Nickelodeon kids, the Dan Schneider and them. You're talking about the kids? Yeah, like the kids that was on Nickelodeon, like how they were being abused on the show. Yeah, and it, like mentally and all that shit. Right? Like like Dan Schneider was like really like abusive to the kids, and like he would yell at them. Yeah. He would like you know. Like force them to do weird things and like oh. a lot of the joke. Like if you watch that, I know that. bro. Like a lot of the joke <laughs> jokes on like the Nickelodeon shows were a lot of like what? were pretty old, like something that we would laugh at. But they were like kids, like thirteen yeah. point. Like they'll be having like random. Like, it looked like they'll have like squirted stuff on their face. They'll be grabbing stuff like water bottles and potatoes in like a weird way. They'll be like bikinis getting wet and stuff. They'll be talking about like oh, and their kids. Yeah, and their kids, and they're talking about like these sexual jokes, but it's like kind of bad. And then it's like you have to like really like watch what you say with kids because like you never know. And it's like it's like I don't like I had to realize like you know like some of these kids like you know because some of these kids they be acting like they are like we're like related. Yeah. Like, you know they be hugging up on you shit. Like, yeah, you got, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you got back up. And it's like, bro, like especially when I watch that shit, it's like, bro, like these niggas were sick. Like they had like three pedophiles on that show, bro. No, they had three people Yo, that right. worked for Nickelodeon that was pedophiles. There's so many in Hollywood. You know what it is? I think it's power. Once, like, so, like, those directors, like, once they get power, now they're like, I can literally do whatever I want. Oh, no, that's what he was tweet. doing, bro. Yeah, that's what Dan, yeah. bro, there was a, there was a, I was talking about with Jason, there was a, um, what's that called? Uh, audio, uh, dialogue coach. Mm-hmm. That man freaking sexually sold that nigga Drake from Drake and Josh, bro. Drake Bell? Yes. Bro, that nigga said, so, this is what, this is what I said in the, in the, in the TV show. So he was saying like, oh, uh, Drake used to, when he was becoming an actor, he used to go everywhere with his dad. That's crazy. I'm thinking Drake Bell. That's my guy. Yeah. Really? So he used to go everywhere with his dad. And then his dad used to see the, the dialogue coach like mm-hmm. touching on Drake a lot, like hugging him, doing this weird stuff. And he told like the Dan Schneider, like, yo, like watch this guy. Like he's being weird. And then like over time, the dialogue coach would talk to Drake saying like, yo, like, your dad is not trying to help you out for your future. Like, you shouldn't listen to him. This, then the third. Him to go away from me. So he tried to get him to go away from him. And then one day, Drake mm-hmm. tweaked on his father. and was like, yo, just leave me alone. I don't want to be a, you know, you're not my manager no more. Your dad, his dad was like, all right, fine. Mm-hmm. But then he told him, he told, because his mom, him and his mom were divorced. Like, his uh, dad mm-hmm. and his mom were divorced. And he told his mom, he's like, yo, watch out for that coach. Like, because mm-hmm. I promise you, he's weird. Like, do not let him yeah. around Drake. 
So now the dialogue coach slowly started becoming Drake's manager. Like he'll start bringing him oh. to like different gigs, different acting yeah. jobs, different things like that. That's this is before like Drake and Josh came out. It was like a year before. Yeah. The year before Drake and Josh came out, he got arrested for being uh, doing sexual assault. So I remember one time they used to they come home from acting uh, auditions late. So it was late, and then he lives like far away from the the coach's house. Yeah. So he stayed over one night. He said he woke up, the nigga was there. Nigga touched him. Bro, they said he used to do, bro, the things that they did to that nigga, bro. Freedom. Bro, it's bad. Like, I mean, like, he, he didn't say it, but he said, like, think of the worst thing you could do. That's what happened to me. I'm like, nah, bro. That's crazy drink, work, bro. And he was like, he was like 15. Free drizzy. Yeah, bro. I felt so bad. Damn. But it's like, and like, <laughs> it's funny, right? Because I was watching, like, how Dan Snyder acts towards people. Let me look what Dan Snyder looked like. You know what he looks like. You've definitely seen him on the shows. Like, he'll be, he'll pop up. You ever watch the Amanda show? Man, the man, the man. The Snyder man. Cut? Is this the same Daniel Snyder from the Snyder Cut? Yeah, I think so. Na, 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 the man, the show. No, I'm thinking the wrong thing. Wait, why? Did you find it? Does he work for the Redskins? Or no, he... no. Hold on. Let me see. Did you first? No, nah, I see him. Daniel, Daniel Mark Snyder. You never seen him before? He used to own the Commanders? I don't think so. This guy. Oh no! Yeah, I don't know who you're talking. Yeah, no, I've never seen this. He's fat. Oh yeah. Yeah, you never seen this guy, like in the pictures. He was on. He start. He created iCarly. All that. Uh, I'm looking at him, all hugged up against Miranda Cosgrove. Yeah, bro. Like this nigga. Like it's like, and it's like the way he acted. Like he would be. He he hired two female um workers, but he split their uh salary. Like he he split their in salary, half? split it into half, and gave it to both of them. And the girls thought, like, because this is their first gig in, like, Hollywood. So they thought, oh, we got bread. Like, yeah, this, 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 they thought this was normal. But then they realized, like, this is, like, illegal. So then they sued him. Is he in jail or something yet? Or nah, he, he didn't go to jail. But, like, he got, like... So where is he? He's just out of the, the business. Like, he's he's been going on podcasts trying to talk about his, his like, his Because date, he dated his daughter. Do- oh, yeah, no, nah, they lost me. Bro. What? I just saw hella shit on him. Bro, he, he, would, he would always ask the women in the job to, like, give him massages while he's, like, directing... And he said all the girls would make, like, he would make all the girls uncomfortable. He would hug them all. And, like, he would yeah, yell at people. He would yell at people, like, for no reason. Just, like, tweak on people. And, like, I remember people Does said, he like... he still when, have a job? Nah, he don't got no job no more. Oh, I, But yeah. he reminds me of somebody. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, me and you know. Me and you know yeah, who he yeah, reminds us of. Yeah, we're locked. Once, yeah. Hey, don't worry. Once once I graduate, all hell gonna break loose. Because <laughs> it's just going bad at Rutgers North, bro. If y'all know, y'all know. I want to say his name. Hey man, tweaker. Not but um, <laughs> but I got a I got a game we could play before we can get too much into he's that. A bitch. Yeah. Come on, man. yeah, he's getting me tight, bro. I really, he shouldn't have a job to him. But yeah, bad man. But bad. so I got a game. Bad man. It's try not to say the same word as me. If you say the same exact word as me, you lose. I'm actually the best. Let's see if you can get to level five. Level yeah. one is easier. Level five is like you know the hardest one. So level one is name a state in the United States. Ready. Three, two, one, Nevada. Iowa. Okay, okay, yeah. all right, all right. Level two, col- uh, level two, NBA teams. NBA teams. Yeah, ready. Three, two, one, Spurs. Bucks. Ooh, yeah, I'm too nice, bro. Okay, yeah, I'm never gonna lose this. Is it all possible? Right, all right. It's actually possible. Level three, colleges in New Jersey. <laughs> ready? You got one. Uh, yeah. Ready. Three. Two, one. Rambo. Bucknell. Bucknell's not New Jersey. Oh, in New Jersey? Yes, in New Jersey. Damn, yeah. I wasn't thinking New Jersey. I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah, I wasn't thinking he's about cooked. He's cooked. I said, I said Bucknell because I'm thinking, oh, colleges? I was like, all right, cool. Nah, yeah, colleges in New Jersey. You got one? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Ready? Wait. Nope, oh, they're in New York. <laughs> I think about they're in New York. You're about to say Nyack? I'm about to say Baruch. <laughs> they're in New York. They're in New York. They're in New York. But I think one colleges in New Jersey, I have one that's because we've been play we played damn near every college in New Jersey. Oh, this is gonna absolutely fry you. Let's go. All ready? ready? Three, two, one. Ryan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Level four. Name a primary color, or not primary color. Name like a what's those colors that's like you can't make it from something. Red, green, blue. Or just name name a name a color from the rainbow. Name a color in the rainbow. Color from the rainbow. Yeah, free. Let's go. Ready, three, 
two, one. Purple. Ah! <laughs> Caught that nigga. Caught that nigga. Caught that nigga. I knew I should have said a different one. <laughs> I, Yo, I was gonna say pink, bro. Nah, purple. <laughs> You're mook, bro. Yo, I can't yes, believe it. Bro. Sir. What? You want to do level five just cause? You cheated, bro? yeah. Run it up, bro. All right, level five. Numbers from one to ten. Ah, right, it's the freest. Thing. Ready? Three, two, one, seven. One. Okay. I was gonna say seven, but I was like, nah. <laughs> can't get cooked twice. Hey, bro. Get cooked twice, bro. Nah, I was. Oh. Can't get cooked twice, bro. What? Pink is not even in the thing. That's what I was worried about. I'm like, I don't think that's in the rainbow. So, like, what is in the rainbow? It's red, blue, yellow, green, purple, orange. I think that's it. You're lame as fuck for knowing that. Why? Why the fuck do you know the colors in the rainbow? I mean, I'm just thinking that the the colors in the rainbow are just regular colors. No, but like you're a grown man. What does that mean? That I'm because I'm educated. Like if you had said no, that's not education. That's <laughs> fucking like, bro. I why used... do you know arts and crafts? Like, why are you so like? I Why used, are you a little kid? Bro, I wanted to be a cartoonist when I grew up. But you you like, know you you didn't become that. Bro, You're nowhere near I, that. You're never going to be that. <laughs> <laughs> like I you bro, I used to like like I remember in second grade our art teacher, we did a project. Like I'm like I and you had to draw the rainbow. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, it was like we had to we had to make like a roller coaster and I was so like in tune on that roller coaster, I stayed after school to finish coloring my roller coaster. It was the coolest thing I Wait, I, what grade was this? Don't say anything over fourth grade. Second. Oh, I, second. If you said grade. anything over fourth grade, I'm like, you're so lame. Bro, I was so. I used to go on on demand and like, you know, watch, you know, like draw out the like, you know, on demand they have they have like a cartooning channel. Yes. Teach you how to draw cartoons. Yes. I used to draw that. Yeah. I, I used to. Th- I used to be. Oh, that's cool. I draw it and not, not draw it. Bro, I used to like sit down and draw like animals. I had a booklet of drawings. So like, why are you like mid? What do you mean? Why am I mid? Like, why are you like not? Like Cause I, I, I hoop dreams, bro. I got cut from the basketball team in seventh grade. Niggas, I thought I thought shit was I thought I thought shit was gonna be like in the boys and girls school where everybody make the team. Everybody, I lost. Like, nah, they, they, they and that's that's what turned my switch. I was like, dang, nah, I gotta. Yeah, now I'm about to kill me. Now I'm about to go hoop for real. I'm about to go nah, every really, day after yeah. school. I will go after I will go to the park around the corner after I did my homework and shoot till the lights go out. The one right there with the one room. Yeah, <laughs> and I didn't even make it to the NBA. And I worked like that. That's crazy work. Man, you bro. didn't go to the league. Nah, you ass. Yeah, shit. man. Shit. I went to A League. Damn. <laughs> so, damn, you did go to A League. You want to do the one where the match? I think we could do it under ten. I don't think so, but we could try. I think we, we could do try. it under ten. I think All right. Do so now 10. we're doing. Can we say the same word? Yes, we have. To, we have to end up saying the same word. In under ten. If we go to ten, we're we're, we're, we're mid. If we if we we're gonna keep going till we get it. If we, we get can't. it, we kind of gay, low key. I be doing this. Bit, yeah. I be doing this with Jay all the time. <laughs> like she'll look at me and be like, "All right, ready? Three, and two, y'all one." Get what, y'all get it? Yeah. yeah but like, we'll try to get it. All right. Ready? You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Defense. Water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Defense. I, that's the first thing that comes to my mind, bro. That's the first, like this guy is brainwashed. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie, this guy is really like brain rot. Yeah, this is literally, bro. Like live you and die by this no shit. <laughs> I live and die by this shit, bro. This is why we never won. <laughs> yeah, this is why we never. I won. live and die by this shit. All okay, right. water defense. All right. Okay. I got one. Ready? Three, two, two. one. Offense. Quincy. Are you good? No, because you said water. He shoot like water. <laughs> now you feel me? He don't be missing. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my boy Q Money. Okay, but I'm saying Q- okay, offense. Qu- okay, <laughs> we could get this in three. Oh, okay, we could get this in three. Ready? Three, two, one. Circle. Three point. Shot. Circle. <laughs> Niggas, Cause that's is- a play for three. We used to run that. No. All right. Okay. Okay. That was okay. Circle okay. check. Ah, I didn't see. Okay. Either way. Okay. Okay. Circle and threes. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We can get it in four. Wait. 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 What oh, is wait, that? What I'm is not- that called? Hold on, I'm not, what is I'm that really, called? I'm oh, not, okay. You you got it, bro. I don't got it. Circle bro. and three. I don't got what it. What do they both have in co- have in common? I don't I don't got it, bro. Yes, you. Th- <laughs> All right, I, I'm gonna go with something. Ready? Ready? Three, three two, two, one. Three fist. point line. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't know he was going another play. That was smart. That was smart. I was thinking of that. <laughs> three point line and fist. Okay. What do they all have in common? All right, we got this. We can get it in five. Literally. Three. Wait, two, wait, 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 wait. Three point line and fist. fist. They have Hold something up. in common. <laughs> yes. Three, two, two one. Crack basketball. 
Because it's a crack. When you run crack. fist, you run crack back. That's the that's the the motion. That's the pause. That's the action. We pause. don't hoop no more. We can't that, be calling shit crack back. But I know it's crack. I know what it is. I know what it is. That's the action. Like if it coach is. is like, "Yo, we're gonna run crack back on on the right side." Yes, for I chase. know. Like, you turn but <laughs> they both involve basketball. Okay, basketball crack back. Where are we even going? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Basketball crack back. We're good. Okay. We're gonna get there. Watch this. We're good. We're gonna right, get there. Ready? ready? Three, two, two one. one. Screen. <laughs> Cause like if you crack, like you cracking somebody, and you talk about you're cracking somebody. No, cause he, what the fuck is going in on in basketball? Like a screen would do it. Okay, so a screen and Rutgers Newark. Okay, oh, we're too locked. We're okay, go, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on. Right, God, this is ah, come on, come on, come on. We, wait, we can't wait. wait. Come on, you, yo, wait, come on. Twin. Are we ready? <laughs> you ready? Three, two, two, one. Five Down flat screen. <laughs> You called another screen? There's no you called another. I was calling for the, what do Rutgers Newark call when we try to call for a screen, bro? Five flat. I know. But <laughs> that's literally what we run. Oh, <laughs> Me and you ran that for years. I, oh my <laughs> fucking gosh. All right, okay. bro. All right. Five flat, Five flat and down screen. Okay. 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 We're not getting this, but I believe we can. What are we on? What number are we even on? Well, this is eight. Oh god. Okay. Five. Five flat and down screen. Five flat and down screen. Um. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Red. Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's just naming Be, our basketball because team. I I know where to go. So I'm like, let me okay. Try to go somewhere. We could do something with that. You said red. Red was good. Red, red was good. Yeah. Red and Kurt. Now that okay, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, we should. All right, this is our last chance. No, Please, no, we're at nine. This is we, nine. This okay, is nine. we have. All right, Ready? we got this. Three, two, a D. -A. Joe Locker. No, why? <laughs> D A. Why D A? Because he read read you. He read a ball ball screen. Yeah, but like that's fan. Locke's call. Like, <laughs> okay, D A and Lock. There's literally what? <laughs> no, no, there's, there's literally so many, so many options. All right, but we all right. know what the option is. D A and Lock. There, yeah, there's one, there's one, there's one. Ready? There's one, there's one. Watch, watch, right, watch. Right. We're going to get this right now. Watch. There's only one, there's only one. Ready? Three, two, one, five. five. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, 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 we got that, yeah. We had to get, I was like, I'm like, yo, he better not say, like, Mike, Kev, he better not say nobody else, bro. I'm like, we had we, to get five. We already knew it was going to be five, bro. Yeah, it was, we too, know. it was too much. It was too easy. It was too, all right. We got it on 10. We did get it on 10. We nice. Next time we do a pub, we got to get better than 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that was cool. tough. That was tough. All right, all right, yeah, yeah. That was tough. I'm right. It took us a minute, though. Oh, my gosh. That was so bad. Damn, Red Bull's a good call. I'm saying, bro. Niggas almost folded me. You said DA? Yeah. Ah, Kurt. Which coach would Red the ball? You're, you're sweating. How's it going? Come on, bro. <laughs> all right. Um, What do I have to talk about? Um, Before you go there, I actually want to say why you look, right? Um, I almost killed myself today. Huh? Yeah, so like, <laughs> wait, <laughs> okay, no, so like before I came, remember I said it took a minute, right? Yeah, so oh, I, yeah, so um, when I went, so I went for a run, yeah, but so there were some factors. I came from work, all my clothes is in North, went to my mom's crib, and I'm at my mom's crib, I'm like, all right, I gotta go run. So I put on some sweats, a hoodie, and all that, ski mask, and shit. It's, it's cold, I'm like, it's cold. Go outside. I'm like, oh, it's really cold. So I went back in, threw another shirt on. Yeah. So I had like a hoodie, three shirts or two shirts and long sleeve and shit. Yeah. So then I'm like, okay, I'm about to go run. And I was like, damn, I should take my inhaler right now. Then I thought about it and I was like, wow. If nobody's going to do it, I'm going to have to. Have to what? I don't know, bro. I just said Wait, that. Wait, have to what? Like, I said, Tyrone has if asthma, I, by if the way. I don't, yeah, I have asthma. Yeah. I was like, if I don't do it, nobody will. Like do what? I I don't know. I just I just had <laughs> go through the hard times, bro. If I don't go through the hard times, nobody will, bro. Okay. If not me, who else, bro? Oh, okay. So so I if, ran if three I miles with no inhaler, and it was brick. And you couldn't breathe. I almost died, bro. Like you couldn't breathe. I got to where the Hindu hut used to be. Yeah. You know they're gone. Yeah. Isn't it like something else now? It's like some massage, please. It better. No, no, no. The Hindu hut is like to the left of that. Nah. 
Hindu Hut's not there. Really? Yeah, I ran past it twice. Not there, bro. Oh, shit. I mean, that's good, though. That man used to give us baked egg and cheese with I, his bare hands. Yo, bare hands. Not only that, the last time I had one, I threw up. Really? Yeah. And had diarrhea. I remember one time I ate it, I, I tasted his fingers. Yeah, it was. we had a rough life. It didn't, like, we from the suburbs, but it's not all I just want you to day. realize what you just said, cuz. Yeah, bro. You said, one time I ate it. <laughs> And I tasted his fingers. That is just crazy work, too. <laughs> but I, you feel me? Yeah. But, <laughs> so like, I, like, 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 let me explain, though. Yeah. Because, like, you know your your nose is connected to your, your taste. You, could, but, you was able to smell bro's fingers? No, no, because look, <laughs> look, right? Your nose is connected to your taste buds. Okay. So when you walk in, you have a, I can smell him because it's like, it's not, <laughs> it's not that far away okay. from me. So when he's making my sandwich, he got no gloves on. I could like like he was an Indian man. Yeah. No yeah. not to be racist, but you know, like you can like you know what I'm getting at. Yeah. So when I took a bite, I'm like, damn. Just taste Indian. I remember you this said? I You said that. No, no, no. <laughs> I remember this taste or this 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 feeling I have right now. This I'm was, like, this is like this reminding was in the shop. This is in the shop. Like, why is this here? <laughs> like it was like more of like a like like you know, if you put like it's just a weird taste. I'm just like, dang. This nigga did me dirty, and I still ate it all. Pause, gang. They worried, bro. You still ate the whole shit, huh? Nigga said, I still ate it all. Like, that's crazy. Bro, dude. You're crazy, bro. You're wild. But I I went for my run. And when I went, I got around there, and my chest started getting tired. I was like, oh, shit. I remember last time this happened, I had to call my mom while I was running. That was like four years ago. And I had to call her to pick me up. And I was like... Once a dog, always a dog. Stop playing. So I had to just, I started running. You thugged down and just kept running. And I ain't gonna lie, I really could have died, bro. And I got to like, I got above the hill, down, and I stopped by the center. I was like, I was like, I gotta run back. Because it's cold air. It was so cold. It was so cold, bro. Wow. And then I ran back, and then I had to run past the high school, and there was mad kids out there, and I'm like, I can't be tired. I find these little kids. So I started sprinting. Got adrenaline. Mm Mm-hmm. And then when I got adrenaline, when I finished getting past the school, that's when I was like, wait, why did I sprint? And it got even worse. Then I got home. Yeah. And I didn't have my backpack on me. So I didn't have an inhaler. Wow. So luckily, you know, mom's always got me back. Yeah. So I went around, throwing around the crib and shit. My mom wasn't even home. Found an inhaler. Wow. And that's how I made it here today. You know how many times, like, you've told me stories like you almost died? Like, like remember, like, this nigga, I don't know if y'all know. This nigga's allergic to, like, tree nuts and peanuts. One time, it, it got cut off from that episode, like, in the summertime because some shit happened. You remember when you, you nigga brought Nutella yes. and ate it on the pod? I'm like, no, if, dude, yeah. he was like, if I have an allergic reaction, that's tough. I'm like, okay. So yeah. I'm watching him. He's cool. <laughs> but I'm like, if he would have really had an allergic reaction, what the fuck am I going to do? Yeah, because I can't eat it, but I ate it. It was good. I'd be eating Nutella. Sometimes it'd be, you know, and then I just don't eat it. But that time I had to. See, that's just God it. saying he had to nerf you. You're six eight. Now guess you know, what? I ate an almond two days ago. Were you okay? Yeah. Were you? You know. And a cashew. <laughs> so, <laughs> I I you remember I make a granola? Yeah. I was like, that looks like an almond. I looked and I read the back. I was like, oh, that is an almond. Maybe I can't eat this. And I saw it and I said, plop, pull. <laughs> I just ate it. And I was cool. No EpiPen. Wow. Feel me? That's like, see, Jay's the same. Well, Jay's allergic to tree nuts. And I remember we went, we went, we was coming back from Jamaica. And you know how, like, my mom, my mom's so bougie, bro. She, <laughs> because Jay always wanted to go to Jamaica. She told mm-hmm. my, like, my mom knew that. So she was like, oh, let's go to Jamaica. And she's like, Jay never flew out the country before. She was like, oh, isn't she never flew out oh, the country? Right, yeah, let's go get first class. I'm like, first class? <laughs> you ain't never give me first class. I was like, what the? I, it, was, it was a big surprise. Like, we walk into the airport. I'm like, I'm like, where the hell are we going? She's like, come on, we're going over here. I'm like, where's our terminal at? Bro, you know how, like, when you go to first class, it's like a VIP club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was in the VIP club. It might be because you guys have uh, your credit. Do you guys fly with yeah, United? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you guys probably have, uh, or American Express, one of the two. You might have. Uh, it was the, we had the United Plus thing. Yeah, yeah, I got good credit. But like yeah, we've nice. never done that before. I never, yeah. I'm like, oh, but now she like now when Jay here, you want to show out? Like that's crazy. It, what about me? So so we flew first class, and when we came back, they gave us like you know food and shit. So we yeah. eat the food, and Jay it was like it was like chicken and like rice or something, 
And I think they had like like tree nuts in there or something. Or something. She started having a reaction. Yeah, she said she's like, "Was there anything in here?" I was like, "I don't know." And like, cause it was dark, so like she spit it out. I was like, "You good?" She went to the bathroom. She's like, "I couldn't like my throat starts swelling." I was like, "Oh shit!" So like my mom, my mom always carries like Benadryl. Like she always carries like drugs on her. Cause uh, she's actually a pharmacist. Yeah, she was, she, like she, she works, works for them. She works for like Merck, so yeah, a drug company. So she yeah. always got drugs on her. <laughs> so she gave her. So she gave her Benadryl. She did have Benadryl on her. Like Jay don't walk around no EpiPen. Like yeah, why would you do that? Lame. If you walk around EpiPen, you leave himself. <laughs> you know, I should, but like I die. Wow, like this is crazy. Like I'm just like yeah. yeah, nah. I was I was like oh shit, and that's when the that's when the, we was going through like a hurricane or some shit. This was wild. Oh, da- you damn. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Yeah, no way. <laughs> yeah, it was, that was it. That's crazy. It was, it was that time when remember it flooded and like niggas had to st- like yeah, yeah, you had to fly, nigga. We was landing as the, the flood was coming up. We were stuck in the airport for like seven hours, bro. Nigga, when we, we was going down, the airplane was like this. Shh, shh, shh. I have never I thought we was going down because I true. thought we was going down. That's actually crazy. And then we work. stayed we stayed on the plane for like two hours because we couldn't the the airport was shut down. That was when y'all came coming back home. Mm-hmm. We came back and like we couldn't and we couldn't like, as soon as we got off the plane we couldn't even get our stuff because the because the basement was flooded. So like everything was like flooded and shit. So imagine your bag was on there. Yeah. So we had to and we had to. So we was just waiting for my aunt to pick us up, but there was traffic because you know everybody just left their cars in the middle of the road. Oh, uh, and left. Yeah. So like when we was driving back, we was driving down seventy eight, and like you could just see like there's like mad like uh, cars, yeah, like dead cars. There's like the powers out. Mm-hmm. Like it was bad. I remember that. But yeah, okay. man, hard times out here in these streets. But um, what do I want to talk about? Okay, Uh you know what? Cause I remember you was talking about the so your your whole thing with your almonds and shit like that. I gotta I got something we could talk about. Cause I have I have three of the craziest human experiments ever I I could find on Google, and mm. I'm I'm a I'm a it's gonna get worse by each one. So the first one actually has something to do with what you was talking about, right? Ooh. So it's basically about. So have you you know how, so. The experiment was called was for like psychological suggestion. Mm-hmm. So basically, what they're trying to do show is that like us humans are the only people, only things on this planet that are that our minds and stuff is like is based off of suggestion, like positive, mm-hmm. negative suggestion. So what they did was back in like the 30s, like in the Soviet Union, a scientist took an inmate that was on death row, and he was like, "All right, if you if you uh, if you participate in this experiment and it's a success." You don't have to, you will not be on death row no more. You won't die. So he's like, okay, of course, I'll do it. Like, if you're about to die, you know, no brainer, right? So then, so what they did is they put him on the operating table. They strapped him down. So he couldn't move nothing. Strapped oh, they his didn't arm. tell him what he was going to do first. No, they didn't tell him nothing. Oh, he but like, he was about to, he was literally about to die. So, so he's like, just like, you know, fuck it. Well risk fuck it. it. Risk it. Yeah. So what he did was, so what they did was they put him on the operating table. They strapped down his arms, his legs, his neck. So he didn't move at all. Mm-hmm. And what they said was they, they showed him a knife right here, like a, like a little syringe thing. They was like, all right, you see this? I'm going to cut your left artery in your wrist and you're going to bleed out and die slowly. That's literally what he said. Looked at him and said that, right? Crazy work. So then the guy's all panicking. He's like, yo, what? What? Like you just so said, you said I'm not about to die, twin. Yeah. Like, so he's just like this. He's stressing out. He's like, you're not like, you're going to, you're going to die. You're going to bleed out and die. Right. So they put a blindfold over him. What they did was he got the little syringe knife. He just cut like a little, little scratch on his arm just so he can feel the pain. Yeah. And then he turned the faucet on. And like had it drip into a bucket, so it sounded like his blood was dripping. Um, and he told him he was like, "Yeah, bro, like, yeah, you're bleeding out. You're gonna bleed out slowly. You're gonna bleed out." And he would just be right next to him, keep saying like, "Yeah, you're bleeding out slowly, and you're just gonna die soon." He just kept saying that in his ear. And he, mind you, the man is not bleeding. He just got a little scratch on his arm, and now the man is just like he's believing everything the guy is not, saying. Yeah, yeah. And then slowly he starts becoming unconscious, and then he passes out, and then his heart stops, and then he dies. So then, after the experiment, the doctor concluded, like, you know, you could trick a nigga, you could trick a nigga to dying just by making it an illusion of him, like, just suggesting that he is going yeah, to yeah, die. Your arms, yeah. <laughs> like literally, the yo, the guy's yeah. hand was not bleeding. He had no blood. It was literally just water. But his heart stopped. His mind. He tricked it. He was yeah, able I'm to not trick it. Like, yeah, that would cook me too. But I'm isn't that drips. crazy though? I'm hearing the drips. But yeah, like, that's like if that's like if somebody if somebody tells you like if you keep if you uh take these pills yeah gonna, like the placebo yeah pills the placebo shit. shit yeah okay yeah yeah it's like a but, but maybe he deserved it 
I mean, he was an inmate on death row. That's so what I'm like, saying. What? But <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna lie. Nah, I take it back, bro. You goofy as hell for dying. A nigga just told you about to die. You just died, bro. That's mid. That's like you very like, ass. If it, like there, there are niggas who, who tell niggas you about to die, beat them up, and they survive, and nobody did nothing to you. You let them, you let them trick you into dying. Literally, it's, it's crazy work. Imagine going out like that. Imagine you, you go up. <laughs> imagine you, your body levitate. You just look down, like damn. Wait, I'm not even ble- cause. Just, <laughs> that's a, that's op oh, finesse, bro. Op finesse. Nigga, literally was just. You might be feeding some serial killers. You could low key. Ah. That's, oh Do you my, know how long it took for the guy to actually die? Probably like, and then specifically say, but I would have to say like a couple hours, right? Like probably. maybe an hour or two. Because I'm not gonna lie, as a ser- <laughs> if you're a serial killer, oh, that's not good. Because you don't know who's watching this pod right now. And then also, you didn't really kill nobody. You didn't kill anybody. I mean, that is is that manslaughter technically? Nah, because he's I not. Tri- I, I tricked you into. Thinking you about to die, now you fucking killed yourself, gang. <laughs> like, <that's, laughs> I'm like, bro, and then nobody's going to be able to know that you did that. It'd be like, bro, I don't know. He just passed out in the bed. They do autopsy. Bro, just passed out in the bed, bro. That shit had nothing to do with me. Mm, damn, we just cooked up here for no reason. I'm sorry. Where's Bezos? Say no. <laughs> no, where's Bezos? At? <laughs> but like, isn't it weird that... Like, imagine that on like a global stick, global scale. Like, what would that be equivalent to? Would that be equivalent TikTok. to... Mm. Damn, hit different. But no, nah, damn, they're about to ban us. Ah, uh, they're being weird. Um, <laughs> I don't know about if they are going to, but if they are, they says six months unless somebody else buys it out. Hey man, it is what it is. That's tough. Yeah, Fuck bro. it, bro. Follow us on all socials right now, though. Yeah. <laughs> follow us on Instagram. Follow us on all, uh, YouTube. You know, uh, saying? Follow, shit. On, follow on Twitch. You had to see us live on Twitch. We are gonna start doing live podcasts <laughs> on Twitch. Literally bro. the same shit. I'm trying to tell you, same shit, different day. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just think it's like that's like. Like just, just the thought. That's like the 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 amount of what's the, how how do I explain? It? It's like being able to tell somebody that you're gonna die it's like and a make hypnotist. them think. Like a yeah, hip- high key. Like, like a hypnotist. I'm 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 not gonna lie. I'm a firm believer that if you like say I was a hit, like say I study whatever the hypnotists do to become a hypnotist. Yeah. Say I finesse somebody, right? Mm-hmm. I can hypnotize somebody to like be my slave gang. You could, cause like, do you did you? I don't know if they did this for you for your senior trip, but for my senior trip in high school, we went to we went to the YMCA. It's crazy. Mid- it was, <laughs> but it's actually kind of like it was like big ass. Play, it was the biggest YMCA in like the state or some shit. That's what know. they told you. Yeah, <laughs> it really wasn't. It had mad shit though. You it know was, where we went? Where'd y'all go? We went to Funplex. Ah, uh, our shit was lit. No, 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 not that Funplex. We went to the one in South Jersey, and we had the whole shit to ourselves. Like, I mean, that had, that shit had roller coasters. Like nah, we had roller coasters too. Twain. Nah, I mean like we had basketball, we had pool, we had jumpy house, we had hypnotists, we had Xboxes. Yeah, it was lit, man. I should have better, bro. Cause we stole your bread. Do I your literally did. Do, Do your, your homework. homework. Take your bread. <laughs> <laughs> Do your homework on niggas stealing other niggas' bread. But um, so yeah, we um hypnotists. I remember. So Allison, yeah, got hypnotized, right? Yeah, one of our homies. She got hypnotized, and the hypnotist was like. He said, like, I'm going to leave you guys with something, a key for the rest of your lives because this is your last trip, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. He said, when any one of the people up here are hypnotized, when you go up to them, if you tell them they did a good job, they will give you a hug. And he told the hip- people, he's like, if somebody says good job to you, give them a hug. No cap. From that point on, like, after that, <laughs> we walked out and everyone was like, you did so good. And she kept giving hugs. And then, no cap. She was like, why is everybody? I'm like, I'm not going to. She, she was like. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little annoying that everybody keeps saying I did a good job, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm just so happy. <laughs> and then somebody else was like, and then I remember she was saying it to us, and it was like, you did do a good job. She's like, you're right. Oh my gosh, and gave him a hug, like firm. See that? That's weird. And that's- I'm not even gonna lie. Like, like I think like a day, the following day, yeah. niggas said you did a good job, and she still was giving niggas hugs. Really? Following it, bro. Wait, who was your hypnotist? Was it a black guy? No, some white dude. Cause you know my uncle's a hypnotist, right? What's up with him? <laughs> he's a hypnotist Like yeah, he's nice with it Yeah You ever like, been hypnotized uh, He says Certain people f- With him right He said like It's hard to hypnotize Like your relatives Because they're like They're just so go- Like they're not locked in Yeah yeah I was gonna say Yeah they don't They're not like Actually trying to listen Yeah you have to like 
agree to get hypnotized type shit. Yeah, like you have to be open minded. Like Jay yeah. will never be able to get hypnotized because you think it's fake. Yeah, so like, she would never. Bro, you're not. You're not a hypnotist. Like I've seen. Like I, I remember he almost did it on my aunt. And like she started shaking. I'm like, yo, you just performed an exorcist on this woman? Like, what are you doing? You're cooking auntie right now. I'm like, bro. yo, he's scared. Like, she's like, she's like, this. I'm like, yo. Like, <laughs> nigga was like, fuck? so it was funny. The hypnotist was like, um, now I need you all to act like you guys are playing the violin. And everybody started doing yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, he told, <laughs> John was up there. He was like, now I need you guys to all act like you guys are swimming in a pool. John ain't know how to swim. He was just, <laughs> he just literally just laid there. <laughs> and he just started doing this. Like, and then it was like, and he went up to John. He's like, "What are you doing?" And then he's like, "What well, I know how to do." Like, because <laughs> he didn't know how to swim. Because John didn't know how to swim. That shit was so funny, bro. Everybody was there. Yo, nah, that's hilarious, bro. Yeah, like bro. my uncle, he does the same shit. He be going like traveling like the country and shit to do different and shows. Hypnotizing you? Yeah, like like shit like that. He not? Oh, well, he probably a millionaire. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. He can hypnotize somebody. Give me your bread. I don't know if you could get that that far. I hope it's not. Tweak. My yeah, dad used to, my, my dad and his brothers be making fun of him. Be like, yo, he's like a super villain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Uncle Poo, you know I love you, I go, uh, he, he said you're a super villain. Like, nah, he, he really, could, he's like a super villain. <laughs> like, you nigga know. travels the world to get niggas to do what he wants. <laughs> that's just too nah, funny, that's bro. Man, funny, bro. But, um, what are the, oh, so I got, I got another experiment that I heard about. Mm-hmm. So there was a co- cholera vaccine experiment okay. in 1906, right? So what they did was, so you know, cholera, cholera was like a disease back in the days, like in the mm-hmm. early 1900s. So what they did was they got they created a vaccine for it, and they was trying to test it out on inmates in the Philippines. So they would give them the shot. They gave it to 24 inmates, and over time, it was supposed to be like the magical drug of like to cure them, the sure. cure them of cholera, and just to like bring new life to the world because that like, cholera was really a bad thing yeah, at the time. Funny. So over time, like they thought it was going to work and things like that. But then the, 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 um, it may start getting sick. Like they started their lymph nodes and their neck started swelling up and turning black. Well, so the it got sci- worse, it got worse. So then the scientist was like, yo, what's going on? So he went back into the lab and he's seen that, um, he's seen that there was a vial of the bubonic plague fell into the, the little vat of the vaccine and the lab tech accidentally, like, took some of the bubonic plague and put it into the vaccine. And mixed them? And mixed it up. So, basically... Cholera and bubonic? Yes. So, basically... And that's... What, so, all the inmates... I think half of the inmates that... Or they gave it to all the inmates. They basically gave them the bubonic plague. And I'm not going to lie. They had They're to, both. like... Bro, they had to, like, quarantine everybody once he found out. Because I'm not going to lie. Like, this whole experiment almost, like... Yes, destroyed the world, bro. That's tweet. Like this is really the first experiment that almost really like destroyed the world. Why do you even have bubonic plague? All right. Like it was it was all an accident, and like I think half of the patients died from it because I think they got most of the doses. But imagine they didn't freaking notice, nigga. The isn't that the the one that killed half the world, bro? Yeah, back then that's Max, bro. That I I was like, yeah, you know what? That's what? Co- yeah, that shit was. Okay. Imagine like, oh, I'm safe, and now you're like, like over here, like about to die. Yeah, shit. bro. What? That shit was crazy. So he literally almost, de- he almost ended the world, bro. He almost destroyed the whole universe. He almost, <laughs> he almost destroyed the whole world by that one mistake, bro. Dang, just- LeBron wouldn't have been here. Nah, bro. Damn. That's what I'm saying. But hey, bro, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. I guess I hope he. That lab tech got fired. Oh no, definitely. It yeah, had to. Like lost, you did some, you did some mid like You did you did so bad. Cause like I mean, didn't <laughs> didn't you tell me cause I know you're you're like studying all this stuff yeah, about like yeah, disease yeah. and things. Epidemiology and shit. So like yeah. isn't don't they have something in like the United States, like Pentagon of like a room full of all the diseases that we yeah, have? The CDC the C C D C has uh any like any virus or vaccine that we've ever had, and also that hasn't had. There's viruses that haven't gone viral, like haven't gone around. Yeah, they have them just in case. Like yeah, one for research purposes, and then also um, like it may be like something to help fix something else, mm. and also to keep it because, say for example, we had the swine flu, right? Yeah, swine flu's around. The next thing you know, swine flu appears somewhere in France. Yeah. But say it never went around, but say in, in France. And France needs to do research, but they like every time they send somebody mm-hmm. to go do, like to go take a sample, they get it and die. Mm. Now we already have it contained. So, like, since we have it contained, we can do research on it in mm. containment. Dang. Mom. But, like, let, like, 
your villain as uncle come around and hypnotize the guards to like open in the gates and shit. <laughs> he could really fuck his whole shit up. Like I was about somebody to say, could go in there and fuck that shit. I could be an A one terrorist. Like, yeah, these but, terrorists. Like if we had some smart terrorists, we'd be fucked. We had some smart. Like I'm not gonna yeah, lie. if niggas were actually nice with this shit, like bro, this is why if I'm a terrorist, bro, I'm sorry, I'm not a terrorist, but if I was, I'm not giving nobody ideas, cause this is my biggest fear. Right. Nigga, I'm going for the Lincoln Tunnel. That shit getting smoked, smoked. It's over. Smoke, yo, hitting that free, hitting <laughs> convoy of of free. of explosives, explosion. G- G- that thing is George done. Washington Bridge. George Washington. I don't know about the bridge. That if I can find that room of those. Of those diseases, I'm waiting. Send I'm a missile wait, at that nigga, bitch. I'm waiting for that to happen. Okay, I, okay. Now this is where we're lo- you're losing me. This is this <laughs> is what I want. Why are you, why are you tent- I'm, nigga, I'm ready to. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I don't, that's different level. It, yo, we that's that's apocalypse, bro. This is what I literally have a bag for. Bro, you have. We just talked about all the things your weaknesses. <laughs> so <laughs> niggas just need to release peanuts in the air. I'm cooked. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Like, niggas throw peanut in the air. I'm done. Niggas, if you like, get rid of all the inhalers, I'm cooked. <laughs> yeah, it's no shot. Yeah. SOB. Oh, SOB. I'm saying, bro. Nah, bro hey, if y'all are terrorists, you watching this? Like, I don't know if y'all watching this in Afghanistan or Iraq. You know, don't do that. You know what I thought about, bro? What? Terrorists are really bad. There are no terrorists with a master's degree. I mean, it depends where you want to get your master's degree in. In counter, no, in, in full on terrorism. <laughs> you know, like, the, like global terrorism. I want to get a degree in global terrorism. I mean, it's a thing. Mass destruction. Mass destruction. Is that a degree? Learning. I mean, honestly, these are the degrees they're getting. Well, I'm getting a degree in mass think destruction. Think about it. When you guys used to cheat on your freaking exams, where do you used to call up? Where are those people from? Oh shit. Where are they from? Tell they're the people. Pakistan. They're from Pakistan. They make what? Nah, I just want to point this out very clear to everybody here. This young man. Just said that people from Pakistan <laughs> are terrorists. Wait. That's what he implied. I'm kidding. I would like to that's, remove myself I, from saying, this. That's my disclaimer. I, thought, I didn't think that was from Pakistan. I'm sorry. He, he, could, <laughs> he knew it was somebody in the Middle East. He knew it. He knew it and he was sure about it. That's why he asked me. And then he said, they're terrorists, aren't they? I'm taking it back. I'm kidding. You know, it's all jokes. Here. Don't take it serious on this podcast, people. If y'all take it serious, y'all weird. He's tweaking. But I'm saying, I mean, you never know. But they don't have... I was going to say, low-key, if I were to become a terrorist, I'd be the smartest terrorist. I mean... Full time. Technically. Like, but what, like, would you need your smarts to be a terrorist? You know what I'm saying? Because like, at the end, I feel like they're not using intellectuals. They're using street smarts. I know all the policies and codes on occupational safety and health. But, like, what's that going to do for... You can't make a bomb. You sure? I can make a bomb. Well, how do you make a bomb? Should I teach him how to make a bomb? I mean... All right, kids, lesson time. Perfect. No. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do here is you get a bag of flour, right? Get the big, Go to Costco, BJ's, get a big bag of... Your department store, get a big bag of flour. Oh, wait, I don't think we should be teaching them how to make a bomb. I think that's illegal. You dip it in, <laughs> in gasoline, right, or petroleum. You put it in there, let it soak for, like, a day... Right now, my bad. I skipped a step. You're gonna want to put like nails, some ball bearings, stuff like that. You want to put all of those things inside the flour. You're gonna dip it, let it sit in a bucket of gasoline. While it's in that gasoline, let it soak for like a day or two. Pull it out, let it dry. Now it dries. Before it dries, I'm sorry, I'm skipping steps. You want to put um a fireworks fuse, right? Put a bottle rocket, something like that. Stick it in there, long fuse. And now what you're gonna do is. You put that in there, and now you have the bag, and it's drying the flour. It's, you got the ball bearings and all that. Now you have yourself an unconventional C4. So, and really, it's C4 to blow a door open, but really, if you really want to, now you have the ball bearings, nails, whatever you want to put in there. Mm. It can now be a really good industrial bomb. Is that even real? Like, is that true? Yeah. Put flour in the gasoline, ladies and you know, it dries up. Now it's in there, it's absorbed, but the flour don't go nowhere. And now you got that. So now what really hurts people in the bombs is not, it's not fire. Yeah. Bombs aren't fire. It's, it's the, the shrapnel. shrapnel. Yeah. Exactly. That's why you put the stuff in there. Mm. Boom. Hey, man. For all the people that's wondering, hey, they're going to recruit you. You'll be a good recruit. You'll be a good recruit. <laughs> hey, so they're going to recruit. You'll be a good so recruit. They're gonna recruit. Yeah. So, so, so those, 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 this, is your, this is your interview. Two, two things. Taught them how to teach a bomb and also kids, you guys should definitely go for an unsupervised run with no inhaler today. 
I think it's a good idea. Yeah, don't do that because I, I feel like a lot of y'all do have asthma. <laughs> this is just by the demographics, but yeah, I think it's the idea. the last experiment that I've that I've researched and looked up is one of the craziest. This might be one of the craziest experiments I think I ever heard of okay. in my life. Okay. So. It's called Unit 731. Have you ever heard of that? Sounds like some SCP shit. Go ahead. Nah, it's not SCP. It's actually real life shit. Like, this uh, is this, crazy. That's not what we want to hear. But yeah, go ahead. So, in, during World War II, right, Japan created a unit, Unit 731, and it was basically the center for research and development for, like, biochemical warfare, bioweapons, okay. and they... Okay. Basically, was trying to find out how to make weapons for the war. Okay, but they went overboard. <clears throat> like biological weapons. Biological weapons, you know, things like uh, with the disease and stuff like that. But they started. They was tweaking. They killed over half a million people. Hmm. Yes. Japan. So, in Japan, yes. So what they did was they would do experiments on these people, and to just basically spare experiments that were like, let's see what happens. So what they would do is they would get people like men and women. Mm-hmm. They'll infect them with. The bubonic plague or the plague. <clears throat> the bubonic plague, the black plague, any disease they could have. And they're just trying to see what happens to them. And how they survive. They're, yeah, they're, they're just writing down stuff like what happens to them. What are the effects of it? Like what's They're just studying them. Okay. And then sometimes they will also, they will do like amputations on them. They'll take off limbs. They'll take out organs with no anesthesia. Japan did this? Yes. So they would do all this crazy stuff. This is during stuff. World War II? During World War II. It was, it was like, also kamikaze niggas. Niggas be bugging. But go bro, ahead. It was... It was for almost 10 years they was doing this, bro. What they would do is they would either, they would kidnap people. They would kidnap men and women. And then they would also, they would try to kidnap a lot of pregnant women too at the same time because they want the baby. And what a lot of the guards used to do is they used to R word the women. And when the women would have babies, they would take those babies and put do experiments on those babies. So it was just a whole big mess. Like they were just going crazy, like doing some crazy stuff. That's why they were with the Nazis. It sounded like some Nazi shit. Bro. And then... So they also so they had to test out some bioweapons. So what they did was they created fleas and infected them with the plague. And oh, what they did was they went to like some Chinese cities and they would fly over and let the fleas go in the city. And then I think tens and thousands of people would die. And they created germs to see like if they can like affect like a population. So they will create a germ and they'll put it in the water system, the food supply, and they'll just study to see what happens to people. And, like, over time, like, it happened for, like, almost 10 years. They seen so many people, like, die of, like, these sicknesses, like, cholera, the plague. And niggas, they didn't know what was coming from. Like, even the Chinese, they would come in and bring their soldiers, and they didn't know what was happening. Everybody was just infected. And they had to, like, shut down some of the cities. And it was just, like, a whole big mess. And, like, I think, like, when they when people found out about it, mm-hmm. like, when the war was over, all the, all the patients and test subjects, they had to kill them all just to, like, burn the evidence. Imagine you could have been a normal nigga, bro. Exactly. You could have been going to school. You, you would have been on your run. And then you just... Oh, you would have been out of there. They would have got you up quick, my nigga. You could have been just like, I'm about to just go get some red lobster for me and the family. Yeah. And now you're you, you, part of an experiment. You got... Got. The booba. <laughs> you got got. I, I got the plague You now. got that shit. That's crazy work. Like... To their own people. That's crazy work. Like they would, they would have like a puppet city. So basically, a, a city that was like run, they, they'll they'll have like the politician that's running the city they're is cold. in on the whole thing. So they like when they're kidnapping Damn. all these people, they don't really give a fuck. Like they have like like the cops, they see this shit happen, they don't care because like the city that they're in is like basically like a farming city. Like they're using the people in that city yeah. to farm and take the people out for almost for almost six hundred thousand or five hundred thousand people, bro. That's a lot in ten years, bro. And niggas don't even talk about this shit, bro. I don't know why we didn't learn about that in the freaking history books. Damn. It hit different, bro. Damn. It hit different. Do, you, do your homework and niggas killing niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, do your homework on the bubonic plague, people. Do your homework on getting kidnapped. Do your homework on um human yeah. experiments. Do your homework on hypnotism. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably hypnotize a nigga to think he got COVID. You can't. You definitely can't with, with the shit we just talked about now. I ain't gonna lie. We could do anything. Yeah, just blindfold the nigga and just be like and cough. Like, yeah. Like yo. Like, like yo. You sick as hell. Like, you sick as fuck, bro. <laughs> like you really sick as shit. Bro, like, you, you can't breathe. Bro. <laughs> like you can. You will never taste chicken ever again. Like so, you can't breathe right now. Like you're struggling. Like you will never be able to taste like this juice. You're ever allergic again. to peanut. I might not be allergic to peanuts, gang. I have peanut butter. 
Nah, I'm good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, it's all in your head, bro. They placeboed the fuck out of you. Yo. They told you when you was young, they made you sit at the peanut table for a reason. Because, oh, I'm with the peanut, I can't eat it. Now when you have, you just have a ledger. Nah, it's all in your head, bro. If you just lock in for real, Damn. if you if, if you would just lock in for real, I need to charge my phone. But you see, I need to charge the laptop. That shit about to die on me. I need to get the laptop charger. This okay. shit going any minute. This shit at six percent. Oh shit! Maybe you can pass me that um thing real quick. My bag. There's a no bag. Wait, if that dies, we're cooked. Nah, I got a charger. There's oh. a there's a charger in there. Just open it. Oh man. Hurry, Lily. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> Sorry, people. If uh, if you're wondering what's happening right now, I'll probably cut this out. It's a white charger. Let me, give me the bag. I'm looking at the, the, the smallest thing. It's right here. Right. What you looking at? What you looking at? I'm trying to see if I have any of my old topics in it. Goodbye. Our people will be right back. Um, enjoy this commercial break. Yeah. Welcome back. Tyrone just had a whole spiel of Damn. um how I'm fake, but it will, it will never be aired on on the net. How do you feel about that? It was probably recorded. You just fake. Nah, like, like your, you your audio doubled, wasn't going. You probably just doubled it and passed it to the next version. Nah, you can continue if you want to. Nah, twelve news is out. <laughs> <laughs> but welcome yeah, back. I missed twelve news with twelve, bro. I had to um, 12 news with 12 is crazy <laughs> You know I had to Fix up the shit The laptop was About to die and shit But I got a couple of topics That we could talk about This is something great For Tyrone Because you know oh, he. I didn't get a charger toy Oh damn You're fucked I'm cooked <laughs> yeah. Maybe you might have one, but yeah, we'll see. get after. Bro. What's your what's your phone at? One. It's all good, though. That's we, tough. It's different. We do ball. So it do hit different. Yeah, let's get after. But all right, I got a question for you, my brother. Mm. So, in order to survive a zombie apocalypse, right? Mm-hmm. Or you are you are trying to solve you are trying to survive a zombie apocalypse. Mm-hmm. To maximize your survival, you must choose one athlete and one cartoon character. To accompany you on your journey Who are you choosing Alright so It's I want to make this Actually interesting Because it's too free It's too obvious 100% If I pick LeBron James I don't even need anything else I think you're dying In the first I don't even need A cartoon character I'm picking The chosen one Automatic But I'm not going to Pick the chosen one You can pick the chosen one I'm going to cook you afterwards But you can Just pick who you want Who you think Because I already got my picks so a zombie apocalypse, I gotta, I gotta survive. You gotta survive. Pick your. Th- this is your group. A- one athlete and one cartoon character. I'm picking Draymond Green. Let me explain why. Wow. Draymond Green mm. one is very aggressive, mm-hmm. right? He's gonna fight. He's gonna fight. He's gonna beat people up. He's gonna mess with dudes. He's gonna fight. Now, in the event, I also think I can outrun him. <laughs> right? So, in the event that oh we're getting overrun, maybe, and I give him a little. You know what I'm saying? He also like 35, 36. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's, he's getting old. He's not going to have time to be hitting the treadmill, stay in shape. Me, on the other hand, was born for this. Uh-huh. So I'm good. Uh-huh. Now, say something happens and we're going to chase The zombie's going to catch him, not me. That's reason number two. Reason number three is in the event we run out of food and I need something to eat, Draymond Green is low-key fat. Right, <laughs> low key. He's one of the bigger this basketball man players. Said he's gonna go straight to cannibalism. So if I need to eat another man, pause. I would eat Draymond Green. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. So, <laughs> yo. Now another thing is, uh huh. Me and Draymond together. We're forgetting Draymond Green is six 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 seven. Yeah, you're six eight. Me and him walking together. Who's coming to mess with us? And he's a an enforcer. Yeah, feel me. Okay. Draymond. Second cartoon character. Who do I pick as my cartoon character? This is crazy work. <laughs> Has to be like a passive character. Can't be like It could be anybody. Nah, because like Superman's OP. Like it's too- I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like no, nah, I'm not picking Superman. That. That's wild, okay. Too- I don't know, I don't know. I'm not gonna pick a superhero. I'm gonna pick a normal cartoon character. That's crazy work. This nigga said. He, he said he's gonna eat Draymond. <laughs> Yo, that is wild, but pretty smart, bro. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive in these streets, man. You got might pick. 
Just go with your gut. So who's in three people? Who's those three people? Michelangelo. Okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Okay. Wait, is he the one with the stick? No, no, that's Donatello. Le- it's Leonardo, isn't it? No, D- Donatello got the stick. Donatello. Okay. I want him. <clears throat> Keep that stick on him. Uh-huh. Donatello. I was thinking about Grimm. From Billy and Mandy? Okay. Okay. That's he's, actually kind of cheap because he's already dead. I'm saying. So the undead's not good. That's literally, that's his That's his cousin. That's twin. I'm, I'm saying. That's, that's twin. twin. That's them. twin. That's twin them. So he might help you out over there. Okay. Him. That's actually great picks. I'm not going to lie. That's great picks. That's some good picks. Or. Nigga's about to cook me a little bit. Hear me out. I think nigga's going to cook you from the Draymond tape. Or <laughs> Plankton. Okay, now, now you lost me. Now you you had me at the the peak of ex- acceptance, and now we're down here. Now, why plankton? Plankton, my boy. Now look, the man that gets stepped on every episode. He ain't dead. What the? And he ain't dead. Okay, now, now, <laughs> now you gotta think about it, right? Yeah. What is he gonna do to help you? Because if he's small in the show, everybody on that show is already tiny, and he's miniature to them. Imagine what he is to you. You might accidentally step on him. And he won't die. I mean, but like... But Plankton is small and smart. Uh-huh. You feel me? Yeah. He made an AI... He made AI before AI was out here, cuz. He his did. wife is AI, bro. He did. He did. His his wife is a high-key Siri. Yeah. Low-key Siri I'm before saying, Siri was made. Yeah. OD. Uh-huh. Okay. He, remember he made the things to control people's head and turn them into zombies? Oh, he's going to develop ex- stuff. I'm saying he's too technical. He only need wires. He did it in the in the water. How, he built an AI in the water, bro. <laughs> I ain't Who, gonna lie. You can't even have AI in the water, and he built it in the water. I ain't gonna lie, you cooking up. He cook, I'm you cooking. saying he's cooking right now. Then say I'm in a jam. Plankton, get out of here. Figure out a way to get us back. He's gonna dip. Some gonna come back. He coming back with a big ass robot and getting me up out of there. Okay, all right. That me and Draymond up out of there. All right, my fault. That's now, not. He 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 backed himself up with that one. So if you could pick the cartoon, what cartoon would it be? Out of those three. Nah, Plankton, run it. Plankton right, and Plankton. Draymond, I'm up, I'm up on it. Right, I'm, bet, staying, bet, I'm bet. standing on it. This is who I'm picking. As my athlete, I'm picking Mark Henry. Now. <laughs> now. Mark Henry, You're world's good. strongest man. Prime Mark Henry. Nigga's not going. He's slow as shit, bro. What'd that mean to me? He's a he's a brute force. <laughs> that you, Have you ever met a man that could bend a quarter and cry because he wanted to rip it in half? That man was sitting in the locker room crying because he wanted to rip a quarter in half and he couldn't do it, but he bent it. I need that guy on my team. Now, my cartoon character, you would not ever thought of this. Rico. You know who Rico is? Rico from what? From the Penguins of Madagascar. Oh. That guy's OP. The, yo, the one that he, used to he be, be like, throat and shit. Yeah, he be. That, he, he, <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Bro, he be up chucking everything. Like and He got everything. You could tuck. He tucks everything. He tucks everything. I'm like, yo, Rico, pass me the blick. What? <laughs> Yo, is on deck, on site. I don't even have to worry about nothing. Rico got me, bro. Rico got me, bro. So, can I identify your weaknesses here? What? Two weaknesses. You lack speed and agility. <laughs> Rico's a penguin. He's not getting out of there. In a jam, he's cooked. I'm picking him up, and he's he's like I'm a pick, I'm gonna make like a backpack for him. Now, you can do that, right? Yeah. You're gonna pick him up. You're still cooked mm-hmm. now because now you gotta wait for big ass Mark. To come up, Mark is slow as, as hell. Like he's slow, but like you know, I won't. Pay, I'm not gonna be in any situation where I have to really run crazy. As long as he can run a, a good horde amount. of zombies come to the door, bro. Y'all sleeping? I think he can run a. I feel like adrenaline and fight or flight mode. He can run a good. He, he doesn't even have the the muscle twitch fibers to do that. Bro, <laughs> bro is went in bro depth is, of his life. Doom, doom. He's like the Hulk, but Hulk can actually run and jump. Mark Henry's like. A whole bunch of zombies come in. He's gonna truck them. Yeah, one of them's getting a bite. They only need to bite him. It's not like he's gonna beat him up. He will hit him, and as he like hits him, one of them might grab and get a little bite and a nibble. One nibble. Mark. Um, now look at you. Mark now Henry's Mark Henry's a zombie. a zombie. Now you got Mark Henry coming after you. As long as I got Rico, I'm cool. Rico, I'm good <laughs> for life, bro. That man, me and Rico against the world, literally, bro. I tell Rico, bro. Mark I- Hen- so well, you could eat Mark Henry. Pause. Like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. Like, if, if shit goes but left. you're not killing him. I could kill Draymond. 
You're not killing Mark Henry. Rico could pull out some shit where I could kill him. Pull out, yeah, yeah. He yeah. could pull out the something. Yeah, a sword or something. Yeah, like that man. Rico is endless. That nigga is literally like, like he's literally a, a na- You ever watch? Uh, I don't know if you watch Yonder, Wander Over Yonder. You ever heard of that show? I've never heard of that. It was like, <laughs> it's a, it was like it was on Disney Channel for like two years. For like two years, what didn't do well. Yeah, I was about but to like, say I, I, it was just it would just pop up after like Gravity Falls. Or it was before Gravity Falls. I never Falls. watched Gravity Falls because they used to talk about Illuminati a lot. It was a good show. Yeah, but Illuminati, bro. It wasn't Illuminati. It was yeah, just like Christ a, is Lord, bro. It wasn't Illuminati. It was like Seeker Society. Nah, didn't they have a whole character that was Illuminati, bro? He was just a pyramid with an eye. Yeah. Is that not? Hey, man. Come on, It do hit different. But, um, <laughs> but it was like, I would, so he had a hat. And he like he he would basically like go around the galaxy like wander over yonder like wander like yonder, so like he would have a he had a big hat and you would yeah. take the hat out and he could pull out anything, like a magician. So I think why do you know about this show? Uh, it was just before you know Gravity Falls, and I thought it was kind of cool to watch. Like you know, it was like a good pre up pre pre game before Gravity Falls. Exhibit B on why Darius is a little kid <laughs> on a regular basis. Yo, I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, you do, you, you explain a lot of things. Like, this isn't the first time uh, of you being a child, right? <laughs> and not one time have you said, oh, yeah, like, you know, like, maybe like six years ago, my little sister used to watch this. No, you've never said that. <laughs> you've never said that. Bro, I had a great childhood. Why would I, why would I leave that? Because you, you bec- become a man, maybe? I don't know. It's just I mean, an option I that mean, most like, people do sometimes. Bro, I, like, I still, I go, like, to go to sleep, I watch Spongebob. Yeah, you're cooked. Like, every you're, night before I go to sleep, I watch Spongebob. You're like, like am I, like, am I wrong for that? Yeah. Because if you watch Spongebob now, nah, I bet you you'll laugh. I ain't gonna lie. So I went to, when I went to Toronto, because we went to Toronto. Yeah. We did watch Spongebob twice. How was, how was Toronto? Toronto, t- shout out to, uh... Crody, the Crodies out there. I hate the way they talk. I'm not gonna lie, I love it, bro. What? That Toronto yeah. accent, bro. I'm not even gonna like, lie to you. I'm about to smoke these you. <laughs> nah, that shit's so like dumb. you a way suit, man. Nah, You're a way suit. No, no, that's <laughs> top. If you see me and Crody come over here, man, <laughs> where we bad. up the glizzy on you, bro. <laughs> I know, like, that's I'm, pretty good. I'm really from. I'm really from there with the mandem. I'm trying to. I'm really from there. <laughs> Is it? Crody said he wanted to hop in line and he really didn't want to go with his brother. I'm try- they their accent is hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's, like it's funny mix, as hell. It's a mix of like UK and it, like it's like UK, Caribbean, and New York and, and New like York. white. Yeah. <laughs> a, a sprinkle of white in there. That Crody shit is hard though. I'm calling it Crody. So was now. everybody talking like that? Or bro, like we ran into this one guy named Ozington, bro. Ew. <laughs> My boy Ozzy Oz, he a, bro. He had a freaking monocle. Like <laughs> <laughs> he was an Indian. Oh wow, he was talking like that. He That's pressed. He, what did he say to Steve? Who was waiting in line? Steve was trying to try and get out. The he said, like, "Said bro, do you want to hop in line or not, bro?" He said, like, "Looks like your buddy wants to go in line, and you don't want to go in line." <laughs> Talk to me, man. And he was. It was mad funny. Like he was just yeah, cracking jokes. He was just no. He was flaming Steve because <laughs> Steve was trying to hop out of line. I was trying to stay in line. It was funny as hell. Really? But. There, like the bar scene out there is kind of cool. We went there while I was cold. Yeah, got some real good flicks and stuff. Um, what else did we do out there? We went to the CN Tower. It's located the tallest thing in the Northeast. Mm-hmm. Um, that's where Drake took his picture. Oh, the picture of the yeah. It's actually tough. You see above the whole city, Toronto, their city. It looks like no city I've ever seen before because every building's like made out of glass. Yeah, I know. It's so like modern and clean. Yeah. Have you been to Toronto before? Uh huh. That's I- just. Why? I went to a Filipino tournament, like when I was. For God, that's why. Yeah, you bro, a lot of the Filipino, there. a lot of Filipinos live in to, uh, Canada. Yeah, like so, we went to a tournament. It was um, the who? It was a, a Naba tournament. It was in Canada. I was in eighth grade, and I remember we we won. I no, we lost. We we lost. So we lost, and then we went. My mom was like, "Oh, let's go to Toronto for a couple of days." So we went to Toronto, mm. but I remember I had really bad cold sores in my mouth. You know what cold sores are? Yeah. So I had really bad Like ones. a whole bunch of them? Yeah, it was like I had one here, 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 here How? Oh, because oh you got hit? No, it was just like I had like a mouth infection Like it was just bad I was so pissed, bro Fuck. Nigga, I was so mad I, I'm not Those are the worst though I'm not gonna let cold sores are the Bro, worst, I was freaking I couldn't eat nothing I always had to drink uh, uh, Mouthwash every like five minutes I remember my mom found me some chicken biscuits Oh my god, I wanted to dog that shit I couldn't even eat that shit, bro Because it uh, hurt But we went, we went to like a, a water park it was pretty nice. This water park there. Yeah, it was like a big ass indoor it's water cool park. So yeah, we was out there. It was cool. So we were taking public transportation and shit. 
Nah, it was mad dope. You had an Airbnb or B and B, yeah. Okay. And we were yeah, it was it was dope. I fucked with what did I f- we went to the Royal Ontario Museum, mid tier. A little uh, mid? Yeah, a little mid. One in London was better, but that's London of course. Yeah, but, yeah. But nah, it was cool. Nah, it was it was mad dope. I mean, what else did we go? Are you going anywhere else? Yeah, went on a cruise in the summer. Ah, yeah. Me, me and Jay and her parents want to go on a cruise. I, Wait, you, which cruise are you, you going, going on? Royal Caribbean. Uh, we might go on Royal Caribbean too. Well, oh. no, actually, it's I think it's something else. I forgot. No, no, no. There, yo, there's a there's a cruise ship I seen. I forgot what it's called. Independence of the Seas. Join it, bro. Is it? In, wait, that's the one you're July going. July 13 to the 18th. Oh no, we're not going July. We're going August. Fucking loser. <laughs> we're going work. to. It's like there was like a there's like a new cruise ship that came out. Yeah, big big ass one. Right? The big one. Like that yeah. shit looks nice. You're going, you're going on it? No, no, nah, nah, I want to. to. Yeah, I one want day. to. Yeah, one day. <laughs> that's like a. It's like a. It's like a family one, but like uh, on the adult side. Because the one the one I, the cruise that's I what went we to. Want to do which 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 cruise are you going on? Is it like it's family? family. We want to do adult only, but those are mad bread. Like it's mad bread, and it's like bread. mad short. Like it's like four yeah. days. Yeah, like yeah, I want to go on that bitch for a week. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's mad long. We're going for six, so mm-hmm. it's, it's max. But then, um, I'm going there. I might, I'm going to Italy or Greece. With who? Me, and my pops. Mm. That was like, you want to go to Italy? So you run it up. Go right? to go to Greece. I heard Greece is really nice. Never been. My dad's been there before. He never been to Italy. I never so. been to Europe. I always want to go to Europe. You. Oh. I want to go to Europe. No regular trip next year. Uh, we'll see. There's a lot of Fourth shit. Season. I got to talk to you about this after the pod. There's a lot of shit that's going down. God damn. I hate to hear that. <laughs> I hate to hear that, actually. But um, that, I'm going to Trinidad 30th and 31st on the weekend, just for the weekend. It's Independence Day. Trinidad Independence Wait, Day. what weekend? This weekend? Tomorrow. No, I'm joking. Uh, no, freaking. Next uh, weekend? No, August, August, August. Oh, I'm about August, to August, say. August, 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 August. I'm like, um, for a weekend is like. It's a tweak, right? I, I would hate um, that. I'm probably going to take my own little trip to Minnesota, maybe, or Texas. Depends. What? If Ithiel's still in Texas, I might go out there. If not, then I probably I might go to LA, too. It depends. Dolo? I'm, I'm going to do another one. If I go to LA, I'd definitely be Dolo because my cousin's out there to go with them. Yeah. If I go to Minnesota, Chicago, probably with Steve. Candy, some of the guys, I'll let them know. Uh-huh. But I have the crews, and we got to get the payments together and all that. So yeah. they might not want to go. But then, or I might just go to Texas. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I know. I want to do one more trip this year as well. So that's what I'm trying. That's to cool. That's cool. Cause I know me, me and Jay, we're going with my family. We're going to Mexico. When? August thirty first to the seventh. How many times you been to Mexico? This is gonna be my. Second time? Second or third time? How many times as a adult? As an adult? This is my first time. Turn it up. <laughs> nah, it's like, yeah. You go to Cancun? Cosmo, I don't know. I forgot. Yeah, this, I think my mom wants to... It's like by Tulum. You should definitely, if you guys can't do a tequila tour. Really? It's, not, it's good? Yeah, they give you like hidden tequilas. And shit. But I heard like the alcohol, they can like... I don't. I don't want to do nothing where I can get kidnapped. Laced? But, yeah, or laced <laughs> by the <laughs> cartel. Like I don't want to... Nah, run it. So now I'm joking. Nah, I'm cool. I don't fuck nah, with that. Nah, I don't fuck with that either. Like, nah, but scare me. you could do one. Like, you find one on the resort, they'll probably. All right, you know, I'll try. I see some shit. We're doing. We're doing. Where else going this year? Doing that. Yeah. I want to go somewhere with Jay. I don't know where we go because she wants to go. We want to go to. She wants to go to Arizona. I don't know if you could save it because it's short notice, but say it to Brad for it. What? Europe. I'm telling you, if you no, would, we're definitely gonna go to Europe one time. I was gonna say you like perfect, especially if you go with somebody like you and Jay going to like. I personally, I say go to London, mm. and then when you go to London, it's the hub for everything, right? Yeah. Then from there, you can take the train to Eurostar to two countries, three countries, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Go to Belgium, Paris, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's only like two hours, hour and a half, whatever, and it's lit. Okay. And I would, and I'm telling you, my fault. I'm telling you, it's mm-hmm. you should if if you have the opportunity to do it, I would take the flight to London, and do that. It's okay. dumb lit, and there's so much to do. Because I always want to so go. To I always want to go to Europe. Like this is what this is what this is what me and Jay going on because I know we just went to Florida, so we went to the East Coast. Now we're gonna go to West Coast, and then we're gonna go to Caribbean, and then we're gonna go to mm-hmm. Europe. Phoenix is cool. Yeah, so you guys been to Washington, D.C. No, Washington State. Nah, that's cool. You could go to Vancouver. For I've been there. I've that's been to I've been Washington. You've been there? Did you like it? Yeah, my my family. Like Seattle? Was there. Nah, Vancouver. Oh, Van- that's fucking. Oh, Vancouver, Washington. Yeah, not yeah. Vancouver, Canada. No, no, not Vancouver, Canada. I was gonna say because they're literally yeah. right next to each other. Too. Yeah, nah. Okay, it yeah, was yeah. like Portland. I remember my Portland, my, Oregon. Yeah, my family yeah, yeah. lives over there. Okay, so you've been to Portland too. Yeah, I was gonna say it's yeah. cool. Well, then Seattle's Seattle was cool. I, I fucked with Seattle very heavily. They had uh-huh. cool ass thrift shops over there in Gala. Where? Big ass thrift shop. One that was super nice. We all got something that we, a gem that we took. 
I but, gotta I gotta find some shit. Yeah. Bro. But Zona's Zona's mad dope too. Yeah, we're gonna we'll probably just get like Airbnb and just chill out there. Yeah. We got, I made like a, a savings account. Chicago you been to Chicago or no? Is Chicago really that nice? I never been so my soup my boss, he is from Detroit and you know, Chicago, Cleveland, they're all in the same area. Yeah. He um says Chicago is like second to New York. Mm. And he said it's it's like amazing. I want some deep. I'll try some deep dish pizza. I want to try it, but like I see deep dish that look cool, and then I see some that look ill. You gotta go to the right one. You gotta go to like Food Network and find like the best deep dish. And shit. Yeah, but I think Chicago. I've only heard good things about Chicago. Okay. So and I thought like ah, Chicago. I got I got to slide the old block. Yeah. Nah. I got to slide the sixty third. I gotta see what it's like. You don't have to do that. I, I'm not hopping out the whip. I just uh, need to see. How, I just need to see what it's like. I wouldn't even drive over there, bro. You don't have to do that. You would really not from do sixty third. Yeah, I just need to like you know pull up. Like, um, you know, just like make do, sure I got, do a quick visual drive-by. So make sure I got your information for the pods and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't worry. Because you're not going to be back. <laughs> you did that dumb shit. You know? Bro, I'm just going to go over there, just look. Like Montreal is cool, too. If you and Jay want to go somewhere. Mont- it's not even... At, well, we drove there, and it was seven-hour drive. I keep thinking Montreal is the same as Quebec. That's, that's far. Nah. Quebec. Quebec, farther. Yeah, it's seven hours straight up. Yeah, yeah. Mont- Montreal is lit, too. It's like underground. It's tough. But that's another good idea. I'm going to try that. We'll try that. Holy shit. All right. No, that's what I'm saying. Hey, we going on trips, people. You never know. Yeah, but man. I got another question that we can talk about. Yeah. So, since we're talking about zombie survival, now, for three... I've seen this, on, I've seen this all over the place. So, for $3 billion, you mm-hmm. must survive 24 hours against a horror movie killer. Who are you choosing? You said tw- you said how many hours? Twenty four hours. Twenty four hours against a horror movie killer. The horror movie killer that I'm going to choose. Scream free over. Ooh, I won. that's a good Easy. one. Easy. He's he's cooked. I'm not gonna lie. So I could beat his ass. You know what I'm doing. I'm he pick- only got a knife. Are you serious? Yeah. He's done. He's shootable. Yeah, he is shootable. He's done. He's done. Scream. I think for me, I'm doing Freddy Krueger. All right. See, this is what I don't understand about you, Darius. Because you got to think about it. all I got to do is just not go to sleep. I'm up. Oh, he only can get you in your dreams? Yeah, he only can get me in my dreams. Yeah, but you're going to die in two days, bro. Nah. It's just 24 hours. Just got to stay up for 24 hours. Game. Oh. Yeah. It's free. Come on, bro. You're tight. Come on. W-I-Q, that's bro. Kinda, that's kind of hard. You know who else I was going to choose? Who? Frankenstein. Okay. Now. Frank- Frankenstein's kind of free. Is He's it because he can't move? He's but a- he grabbed you. You're done. You're done, but nigga's not grabbing me. Mm. Am, I, am I wild if I pick Chucky? Yeah, you're super wild. You're done. That Chucky, Chucky's like the dumbest one. Really? I think the hardest one is Chucky's like second, besides uh, Michael Myers. Michael Myers. He's Michael Myers. He's. he's no I shit. don't want that. But Chucky might be the second hardest one to get really? out. Really? Because he's just small and he just like bro creep up and on me. He don't die. I mean, I just gotta keep kicking a little little shit. You look at your time down and shit. Yeah, just like put him in but a box. He has a knife. Like you grab him. He's. Remember, a guy grabbed him. He like stabbed his arm. Yeah, yeah, and kept, yeah. You're done, bro. Damn, that sucks. And um, niggas let him on fire. Chucky ain't die. Damn, I ain't gonna lie. That shit. Chucky's like second worst one. That's a crazy ass movie. Think about it. Like that probably got kids so scared of like toys. Annabelle. Annabelle, I'm surviving that. Toy- yeah. No, no, see, that's a demon though. But like, God on my side. Yeah. Oh. Crazy so any any ghost? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're straight. Yeah. Not it. I'm not. That clown is deed. Nah, no clown, might be. I think I could do that clown. How, doesn't he eat niggas, bro? He I just, just you just can't. Up. You just can't be scared of him. Oh, so if you see him and you're like, if I look at him and laugh like he done. If you look at him and throw him a Frank, like you're Gucci. yeah, like throw like SMD real quick. Like yeah, you're like, done. like you the Frank, bro. Like you just, yeah, <laughs> now he just he just gonna look over there and cry and shit like like a bitch. Like now he uh, my bitch. Well, you lame man. Are you crying like, and shit? Like you really a, like you a clown? Like you really a clown? You really a nigga. clown. <laughs> Like, you really a clown at really bro. bro. Like, oh, beat like <laughs> bro. Yeah, yeah. He's done. He's done. It is done. Uh, scream done. Uh, Freddy Krueger. Light. I ain't going to sleep. Start the timer now. I'm not going to sleep. Just drink hella energy. Drink. Hella, exactly. Um, I'm trying to think. I think that's it. Uh, Jason. I don't want to. I don't want to have to. That's too much work. Edward Scissorhands. I was thinking about him too. That is. But if he gets me, I'm that's a terrible death. I don't the Candyman. Oh, uh, that's 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 not bad. That's that's doable. That's the one you just have to summon him, right? Yeah, Candyman gets summoned. But if somebody else summons him, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. But like, I can still get away from him. 
Boy got a hook. That's really like the the black version of like of like Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Yeah. Like black people Dude. always have to do some do some like some stupid like some like a Actually, flip of shit. Yeah, like, like candy. There always has to be like a like a like a switch or like yeah. a, a version of, for black people. Like why? <laughs> like why do we do that? Why like that shit is crazy shit. work. Like what the fuck? Sweet of Bloody, you ever had a Bloody Mary drink? Is that the shit? That's no. Do you know what that is, bro? Had it by accident. That's the shit with like the tomato juice, bro. Yes. You asked for that? Bro, we went to Seattle. We went to uh, Oregon. We was in Portland. We went to get brunch. And they were like, oh, what's the... Oh, we never had a Bloody Mary. Everybody ordered a Bloody Mary. She uh, came. We were like, oh, it's, it's red. We are like... Yeah, that shit isn't... I think it's like liquor and like tomato juice. They yes. Probably, they probably... Nigga look, sipped. I was like, why is it so thick? I was like... <laughs> hey, yo, it was horrible, bro. But apparently look, it's really good for... Like, you could drink it, get drunk and not have hangovers. Uh, I mean, I mean I, technically it's, care, it's um healthy for you. Yeah, I would never do that, though. What the fuck? They, they probably looked at you like, who the fuck ordered this many Bloody Marys? Like, <laughs> eight Bloody Marys. Eight Bloody Marys is crazy. sick, bro. We, we sent them all back. <laughs> he did. Yeah, we were like, what the hell? Dang. What? It was like a nice restaurant for a restaurant, like a fancy. Nice, nice as hell. Uh, like, yeah, but you know, Portland's the whitest city in like the U.S. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, like, you know, it's actually ranked number one. So, like, mm-hmm. like they were like all oh, black people, but they're not racist. So it's like, oh, we gotta help these guys. They're just good guys. You know, it's crazy. I remember um, we went to. Uh, we went. We had a dinner date. Not a dinner date. That sounds gay. We we had like a dinner, like a dinner for Chris's birthday, like two years ago in Philly. We went to we went to like a nice ass steakhouse. Like it had the piano playing. We all came in and like like dressed up and shit. Like we had like a little. Oh, nice yeah, I remember shirt. when. It, yeah, yeah, like Fritz had a do rag and shit. Like, yeah, Fritz I, and Bash he, had do rags. I mean, they wore the do rag with their fit. That yeah. was the. Cr- it was wild. So we was sitting at the table. I remember niggas was like, uh, niggas niggas was broke. So like all I had, I had a chopped salad. Oh. I had the t- niggas was either getting uh, the chopped steak or like uh, I just had the salad because I didn't want to spend no bread. Yeah, that shit was like like thirty dollars. So Nick like for a salad, but, like no the steaks were like eighty, weren't they? Yeah, like but it was higher. a chopped steak, so it was a cheap shit. So that shit was like forty. Niggas thought they was getting cheese. Everybody got the, got the same shit. So then the owner came by. He said, "What's up, to us? He was talking to us. I'm like, "Why the fuck is he talking to us?" Like he's like, "Do you see?" He, I thought he, I think he thought we was like a like a basketball team. Oh, or like probably. or like YouTubers. That's what he thought you were. were. Probably he and probably I, thought y'all were. Yeah. And I remember I walked up. Like, I was going to the bathroom. He's like, "Hey, man!" Like I remember he told us like some dumbass joke. <laughs> and I remember like he was just trying to make us laugh. He was a cool guy though. He's like, "Yeah, man!" Like I, like how'd you guys like the food? I was like, "It's good. It's cool." He was like, "You guys do like what? Like what are you guys like? You guys just friends?" I was like, "Nah, like we do a podcast though." And I, I put him onto yeah. the podcast. I don't know if you ever watch this shit. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but like it was just I, he felt like. He needed to go speak to yeah. the table full of black guys. Full of niggas. Like, he's just like, just like, make sure they're not rowdy over here. Yeah. Let me make sure you don't good. drink too much. Yeah. Let me make sure they don't tweak out. Yeah. Like, make sure they know I'm here. Yeah. Like, like let me put my presence here. Like, yeah. I remember there was like a whole Jewish party in like the other room. They brought a dog in that bitch. What? Like, a dog? no, 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 no. It was a kid's birthday party. Like a Jew. I think either Jewish kid or like a regular, like a white kid's birthday party. And the, he got a puppy for his birthday. I remember they came like it came in like a like I seen him bring the I seen him bring the dog in. I'm like, why is there a dog in here? And then they're like, Oh my god, you got me a puppy. I'm like, Oh, you white privileged motherfucker. Damn. Fuck never, you. I never got a puppy for me neither. That was my dream. Yo, <laughs> isn't that on your list, bro? It might be on the like, a puppy. I want always want a puppy, but hey man. No, that's what Don't worry, we're gonna we gonna be up soon. You know what's bro. crazy? I only saw Fritz without a do-rag one time in my entire life. When was that? Was that UJC? At UJ's party, bro. Yeah. He was, was he was drunk as fuck that night. <laughs> he was Max. Yo, I've never seen Fred. You know, it was you know Fritz was drunk when he started telling you I love you. Bro, bro, dap me and like it was like normally daps clean. Yeah. He dap me, said, You out? All right, bro. Yo, I love, yo, stay up, bro. Yo, talk to me, bro. I wanna the dap was like this, bro. <laughs> like fingers was max. And I'm like, they told me, bro. He's like, all right, bro, I'm gonna chop it out. I love you, bro. I love you, bro. I'm like, you're drunk. Yeah, first don't really drink like that. That's my guy, though. Nigga drunk more. I knew it was bad. Nigga tried to take Colin's bottle. I'm like, nigga, put the bottle down. You didn't pay for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> we don't got no more bottles. He said, like, we're done. Man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, but hey, man, you know, give black nigga some liquor. Yeah. <laughs> but all right, I got another question for you. Since we're talking about mm-hmm. white supremacy, it's like, nah. Whoa. We're not talking about that. <laughs> white privilege. So I got white versus black superheroes to the death. Who would win? I want white. Okay. Let's go. Let's, let's let's move on from that. So I picked the the whitest of the white superheroes I could find. So Captain America screams white. There's no question about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Iron Man and Batman, both white privilege, rich white guys. Right, 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 right. And right, now right, we right. now we throw in Thor, 
Yeah, Thor is yeah, literally yeah, he's a perfect king, yeah, white. Yeah. Blonde hair, blue, blue eyes, yeah, yeah, muscles. It's a white. Yeah, it's white. That is a white man. So that's the first team. Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Batman. Team Jesus. two. T- team black guys. <laughs> we got Black Panther, Jon Stewart, Storm, and Miles Morales. Who is winning? John Stewart. Who is John Stewart? Again? Uh, Green Green Lantern. Yes. The Black Green Lantern. You said Martha. Uh, Who? Miles Morales. Miles Morales. And Storm from X Men. The the girl. They just threw Miles Morales in there, bro. I had to. It was it was very bad. It was either him or like Hancock. Not even Hancock's tough. Static <laughs> Shock. Miles Morales is better than Static Shock. He's literally the better version of Static Shock. Yeah, I want to put a side note in there. What? Peep, they made a black superhero, Hancock, and his weakness <laughs> was white woman. I just want to like, it's, it's funny as hell. It's just funny as hell. Like, that was his weakness. Was another white woman. Like, they really be putting some little jokes in there. Yeah, it's funny as hell, but... Um, literally, if he was next to that white woman, he's dead. I think they're cooked. Who? The black team. I think they're done for. Uh, black Panther is their only hope. John Stewart is one of the best Green Lanterns, though. That ring is very strong. Black Panther might have my kid. Yeah, but the only problem is Batman don't care about none of that shit you talk about with Bro, the Lantern. I'm not gonna lie, it it they freaking they line up pretty well because you gotta think about it. First of all, Storm is like yeah. top of the top tier mutant. Like she's yeah, at she's the top, top like yeah. Omega level mutant. Yeah, but the God of Thunder not playing that. He got an axe, bro. He do got an axe, but like that she thunder can, is not. He's making him stronger. She can shh, back at the yeah. Back at I think he still wins though. Oh. He has the bifrost and shit. He's I can't. I can't let these white folk win, bro. And then Captain America's cooked. I'm just Black Cap- Panther is, is Captain getting him out of no there. Sh- everybody, I think all of everybody in the lineup gets Captain America out of there. Yes, Captain America's done. Cooked. Batman, you could they could jump Batman. Iron Man is also debatably out of there. I don't think he's out of there. You don't think he's out of there? Too smart for that shit, bro. But we got Black Panther. T'Challa's smart. That nigga can't fly. That's why you have Green Lantern. Oh shit! Green Lantern. Will Green cook Lantern Batman. is low key like Green Lantern might cook Batman. I'm saying. I mean, I, I mean uh, Iron Man. Iron Man. Yeah, he he might... never seen that before. He's literally Iron Man, but cooler. If you want to be get honest. him stuck in the thing, crush him. Yeah, like he can literally just like make a suit and just like beat his ass up. So. Miles Morales though is the is the X factor. I don't think he's that. If Miles Morales could tweak, he's shootable. Okay, I understand he's shootable, <laughs> but none of these guys got guns on them. Be- you okay. tell me Iron Man don't got a gun? Okay, he do got a gun, but he got <laughs> Spidey sense. He say, "Yo, <laughs> dodge that shit immediately." <laughs> like, come on, bro. Fight for your gonna, people, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. You go too Miles quick. Miles is cooked. You're going too quick on the other yeah. side. You're giving up on him so I fast. I went too early. Too early. <laughs> you went so. I ain't giving a shot. Yo, Miles Morales is so <laughs> so done up, so done up. Miles Morales does the same shit. So I ain't gonna lie. To really, you. bro? Because he, you're gonna swing a web and Thor is thunder is done. <sighs> Batman, he might handle Batman a little bit. He, I think he beats Batman actually. Who, Miles Morales? Yeah, but Batman not going out easy, and then Iron Man's gonna help him. So yeah, but he be dodging and shit. That's what I'm saying. Wow, I, that's Green Lantern. It's like it's a very and then Black Panther already killed Captain America. Yeah, so, so sorry, four and three. Damn, Black Team wins. Come on, bro. No, yeah. but Thor. Did no one, nobody in this lineup. But Black Panther is the only person who has a possibility of killing Thor. Her only because he has a the army like Wakanda. Nah, it's just him. Oh, it's just him? Yeah, just him. Cooked. So the white people white people reign supreme? I think Thor just carries. Oh. Not even with Storm just like helping? Storm gotta hold him off while they kill him and they all gotta jump Thor. They literally everybody just gotta jump Thor. Jump Thor, everybody win they one on one matchups, but Storm's gonna get fucked up, but you just gotta jump Thor, bro. Thor. Just gotta jump this god and yeah, hold him down. I think black team wins because they're gonna yeah, black team might win that. Like seven Captain game- America is up out of there so easily, yeah. And then now it's four and three. Seven game Green series. Green Lantern is gonna hold Captain Iron Man down. Mm. Black Panther is gonna help. And he's done. Now Iron Man's gone. Batman's been fighting with Spider Man, but not been able to do nothing. He hasn't killed him yet. Same. Black team and then seven. They're gonna jump him, and now all four. And now Storm's probably dead. Yes. But now it's three on one. Thor. Come yeah. on. Black team and seven. Black team in five. Oh, in five. Oh, shit. 
That's Dang, fun. hey man. Unfortunately, I wish I I wish I thought of this during Black History Month, bro. But you know, every month is Black History Month. Type shit. Amen, bro. Sure. Um, all right. I got, mm, I got two, two, three more things we could talk about. Okay. I have. So, it's you have to do a Oklahoma drill versus these celebrities. I won. If you crack, they they will have the ball. If you crack them, you get half their bank account. Okay. All right. Kevin Hart. It's free. Free. I ain't gonna lie. Kevin Hart getting cracked. Free. Give him the ball. He's getting free. shot. He's shot dead. out of a can. He's, he's over. Dead. He's dead. Um, Brittany Griner. Free, bro. She is six eight, two fifteen. I'm 6'8", 240,000. Mm. Run that, run that woman. Run and, that. and she's a woman. Come on, bro. Mm. Cooked. Free bread. I'm know. not even going to lie. I wouldn't even do it because she don't even have no bread. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even get paid in the WNBA. I don't want... <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, hey, yo. She don't got no bread. Hey, yo. Okay. All right. That's that's true, but I'm running her ass over. Low yeah, cutting yeah. the hell out of her. Low man wins. I don't yeah. care if she's 6'8". Uh, Drake. Drizzy? Yeah. He type Ock. I think he's a little soft, though. He's light-skinned. He's dead. Yeah, I think I'm like one shoulder. I just got to really run my full speed, but he is like 6'2", like 215. He's pretty, sto- he pretty stoic. Nah, he's done. He's cooked. He's cooked? Yeah. Okay, he's... okay. I cook him. Last one is LeBron. I, I die. You die? <laughs> LeBron James. I think I'm a low cut the hell out of him. LeBron James will hurdle you. He will run, jump right over you. <laughs> Smooth to jump right over you. All right. But I just think if I was, you know, low man always wins. He's nah, six, eight. he's LeBron James. My he's helmet right mus- says. He's the most muscular, most athletic man ever to live on the planet. Um, I think there's a lot more than that. Alexander the Great. I think LeBron James yes. beats him in a fist fight. Who? Alexander the, the Great. Great. Yes. You think LeBron James could beat Alexander the Great in a fist fight? Yes. Alexander the He's Great. He's literally the great. The great. He's never jumped before. What back the- in back in the 1800s, they had no reason to jump. So nobody ever jumped. LeBron James between jumps. <laughs> Nigga said they didn't invent jumping. They didn't invent jumping yet, bro. 1500s. Bro, Alexander the Great was never the doing fuck? that, bro. He was never doing that, What does bro? that have to do with anything? He's athletic. athletic. <laughs> LeBron is going to do a jump punch and he's going, what the demon? And he's gonna <laughs> fucking, he's done. A few moments later. All right. Sorry again, people. My phone uh, ran out of storage. So the last thing you heard me say was uh, me laughing. So now since the- <laughs> I hate this, bro. I can't wait. We got to start investing into some real cameras, yeah, but yeah. soon, bro. Keep following us. <laughs> so now, now that you was talking about all that shit with LeBron. Yeah, he's the best. I have a question for you. I have a LeBron gauntlet with people, and it gets worse each level. Mm-hmm. So the first person is Conor McGregor. Uh, Conor McGregor doesn't win this fight. Um, he weighs what is LeBron two hundred seventy five thousand pounds six hundred six eight um giant god beast the chosen one sent from uh heaven he lebron james will mm-hmm. put him in a headlock and let him pass out then snap his neck he just he could tackle him mm-hmm. now he has technique but that doesn't matter when lebron just throws him around okay you know what i'm saying he can, mcgregor he ha, he's going to get some punches but lebron doesn't feel that because he's a dog okay <laughs> yeah, dog. okay okay you know, the second one is aaron donald so this is why i had to do a little research this is why aaron donald doesn't doesn't and most people be like, oh, Aaron Donald, he's a defensive player. He's so big and strong and fast. And <laughs> LeBron James. Yeah. He's from Akron, Ohio. Yeah. The hood. Get Aaron from- Donald, do you know where he's from? Where is he from? He's from Pennsylvania. I mean. He's soft. He's not from Philly. Where are you from? Niggas from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> All right. Niggas cooked. All right. Niggas cooked. <laughs> I heard Pittsburgh is low key the hood. It's not, it's not Akron, Ohio, bro. My fault. Not where LeBron from. So you know he, so LeBron whooping Aaron Donald ass. Because Aaron Donald's going to get hit, punched in the face. But, uh, he's just wearing a helmet. LeBron's just getting elbowed by seven footers. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. By Giants. Aaron Donald's just getting hit in the arm and shit. He's yeah, going to yeah. punch him in the face. Mm-hmm. Feel me repeatedly. Because LeBron don't get tired. Aaron Donald used to taking breaks. Yeah. Feel me? LeBron just. He's done. Okay. All right. 
I'm not gonna put no two cents until the end. So the next one is Prime Shack. Now what? <laughs> Shaq's from Newark. Yeah, he's from Newark, New Jersey. Newark, New Jersey. Born and raised, bro. Not raised, born. What are you doing with that? See, here's the biggest thing. It's not about just the bronze, right? About being strong. Uh huh. LeBron is also the smartest. <laughs> so let me tell you, right? Shaq. Love Shaq. But he's fucking stupid. <laughs> so he's a big giant. Yeah. He's going to come at Bron, and Bron's just going to keep running around him. LeBron, I don't think, can you name one time you've ever seen LeBron tired? You can't because you've never seen LeBron get tired before. Uh-huh. LeBron's just going to keep running around until Shaq's out of breath. He's going to knee him, and then when he gets kneed, mm-hmm. he's going to oh, try and get him again. Adrenaline, he's going to keep outrunning him. LeBron won't get tired. He's in the best shape. Okay, so he's just going to outrun Shaq until he gets he'll tired and then beat him, him up. Yeah, exactly. Run around him. He's going to, I'm dizzy. Yo, shoot. Nigga said I'm gonna run around him like like he's the Flash and shit. Get dizzy. He might be. <laughs> okay. Last level, Mike Tyson. Oh, what happened to my neck? Huh? Oh shit. Just gotta crack it, bro. Like this. Damn. You. Oh, I cracked my neck already. Nigga's tweaking. Nigga said you just gotta crack. <laughs> <laughs> Tweak. Uh, Iron Mike. Iron Mike, bro. Mike is from Brooklyn. Oh, he's done. Mike is like 5'10". Mike can five, hit. Eight. That man can hit. You think LeBron go let him hit him? Mike I'm, is used to walking up and hitting. LeBron is full speed with a shoulder. <laughs> full so, speed at him with a shoulder. So Mike, Ty- so LeBron... And then is- once he's on the ground, Mike Tyson's used to getting up. Braun is too smart. He sees the game, the entire game at the same time. Yeah. He's going to jump on him, flying elbow, bow, hit him. And then get him in a headlock, get him on the floor, you're done. So LeBron is beating Mike Tyson in the fight. That's what you're saying. In Live the street the fight, air. yeah, in the street fight. In the street fight, LeBron James. Uh huh. Yes. Is beating Mike Tyson. Yeah, very much so. All right. People, I know you heard this. Now, Conor McGregor, LeBron got Aaron Donald, maybe. That is a big boy. I don't know if that man could feel like that man probably eats bricks. That man probably got an iron chin. I don't it know. Might. His name is Shaq. Aaron. Now you're losing me. That dude is 7 1 3 20. Yeah, but he's out of shape. That's what you think. Prime Shaq? Prime Shaq. That man is he's going to get tired. LeBron. We're talking about prime, prime Bron? Yes. Prime Bron is not getting caught. Too agile, bro. First team all defense. <laughs> he's going to look like the nigga that prime was fighting the giant from from rush hour. Weave, 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 weave. Like stupid. Jack- and Shaq's going to get tired and frustrated because he's stupid. And Bron is too smart. And he's going to lock in. Okay. I don't- I'm not arguing with this guy. I'm just going to let him live his LeBron life. And then he said Mike Tyson, which is crazy work. He throws his shoulder, bro. Prime Mike Tyson? Mike, he's running. He, Bron's going to back up and get a running start. Blue. You don't think shoulder. Mike Tyson got no agility and like footwork? That's cool, but LeBron can see that. You think LeBron's going to run in a straight line? LeBron is so the there's smartest. There's nobody in this world that could beat LeBron. Like nobody in this world possible. I don't think so, bro. Wow. That's crazy. Like, no, not a soul. Maybe Miles Garrett. Wow. <laughs> Maybe. Miles Garrett, the guy that only got a freaking shape up. They or got... Tim Kennedy. Who the hell? U- UFC fighter. He's also a Green Beret. Or not a Green Beret. He's a Delta Force. Oh, another another part of the military. Yeah. Fuck the military. You guys should all join. Nah, we're not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> but last thing I want to do before we end the show. You know how we always do would you rather questions? Yeah. Now I have a would you rather gauntlet. So what up. so what is basically gonna happen? I'm gonna tell you these would you rather questions. You just tell me your answer as quick as you possibly can without thinking. Mm-hmm. All right, and then we're gonna discuss your answers at the end. Mm-hmm. All right, ready. Would you rather eat a pound of hair or drink a cup of spit? A cup of spit. <laughs> would <laughs> would you rather have all the food that you love? Taste really bad, or have some, or have someone chew your food in order for you to eat it. All the food I love tastes really bad. <laughs> Would you rather eat the first animal you see when you walk out the house every day, or eat the first object you see when you wake up every day? Wait, say it, say it again. Say it, say it, say it, say it. <laughs> Would you rather have to eat the first animal you see? Oh. When you when you first walk out the house every day, right. or would you rather eat the first object you see when you wake up every morning? 
Do I have to catch and kill the animal? <laughs> like, you'll have the urge to just run and just go. And catch them? And eat them, yes. Not going to lie to you, i probably go with that one because I'm going to line up an animal outside. Or outside my door, a chicken in a coop. Chicken in a coop. I wake up, ah, yes, and I'm beat free. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Would you rather have sex with a man or have sex with an animal? <laughs> You're getting canceled. Animal. <laughs> oh, you're getting canceled, bro. Uh, animal, animal, animal. This animal, is all animal. jokes, people, by the way. Animal, all right, animal. would you rather be 300 pounds or three feet tall? Three feet tall. I would never be a fat nigga, bro. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm, nah, nah. Three feet tall? You're like... Ah, 300 uh, muscle? I could be 300 muscle. I mean, 300 pounds, whatever you wanted to be. You heavy as shit. <laughs> 300. 300? Yeah, because it's going to be muscle. I ain't going to let it be fat. Okay, now let's review your answers. So, would you rather eat a pound of hair or drink a cup of spit? You said drink a cup of spit. I'm not going to I hate having hair in my mouth. And eating a pound? Like, you can't chew it. You're just like... <laughs> Bro, you're drinking spit. Yeah, but once you... <clears throat> That's Wait, yeah, fucking nasty. Once you... Like, there's loogies in there? Not loogies. Oh, no, it's spit. But once you finish, like... It's, oh, it's over. Well, that's gross. Uh, that's, it's over. Once you finish, it's over. But the hair is going to take so long. Uh, you, you can chug a... Uh, I'm about to yak. <laughs> Yo, you, can, you, can, you can chug spit, but you can't... Like, hair is take too long. <laughs> and hair is light. So a pound is like this much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, would you rather have all the food that you love taste really bad or have someone chew your food in order for you to eat it? I'm not letting somebody chew my shit, bro. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I let Jay chew my food Like you know Just take one bite Like this And then just spit it out And then I eat it No bro You're <laughs> fucking no, But you're everything gonna... that you love What's your favorite food bro? Porridge No I forgot you said that <laughs> No I'm joking no, no, no my favorite food Yes Oxtails So oxtails now, When you eat oxtails That shit tastes disgusting Yeah but it's about the texture Of the meat <laughs> The texture of the meat Is what makes it You can have good textured food That tastes like Mid, but like, okay, okay, no, no, <laughs> the text. Okay, I get the texture, but now I just you said my favorite food, so now I just have something that's not my favorite. But like, like the foods that you enjoy to eat, I don't like eating Five Guys, but I can tolerate it, so I'll just eat Five Guys. <laughs> okay, okay, sure. now would you rather eat the first animal you see when you walk first walk out your house or eat the first object you see when you first wake up? Not because I'm gonna wake up and see my phone. <laughs> just, and just, I'm just, dead. Just dog. Or home. I'm a I'm a wake up and see like the ceiling fan, or I'm a, <laughs> like I'm a wake up see like turn to my right and then see like my rings or my chain. Yeah. Like, <laughs> ah, so, like <laughs> and break a tooth. Yeah. So like so what what is your plan with the animals? I'm gonna line up an animal, out chickens, mm -hmm. chicken in a coop, put them outside my door outside right by my bed whatever. So when I wake up, it's the first animal I see. Mm -hmm. Now uh, it would suck if I left my window open and I wake up and see a bird or I wake up and see a fucking squirrel. Yeah. And now I have to eat it. <laughs> now it's tweak. That's tweak. But I'm going to make sure I'm set up. Okay. All right. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. Now, you said, would you rather have sex with a man or rather have sex with an animal? I'm not gay, bro. <laughs> hey, yeah, nah. You're, you're getting canceled for sure. Um, <laughs> You just compared... Uh, Gay niggas to animals. That's that's what you just did. <laughs> As you said they're equal. Um, what I animal because I'm. I don't want to say that word here. Um, yeah, I, let's let's not. I can't be mook. Yeah, I understand that. We're not. You know, we're not. Nah. Against nothing, people, and we're not hurting no animals. This is all jokes here, just to be fair. I'm not even going to elaborate on his answer. I don't even care. It never, it never happened. Um, and then you said, would you rather be 300 pounds or three feet tall? You put 300 pounds. Yeah, I'll be straight muscle. Uh, if I'm three feet, I lose my superpowers. Um, <laughs> being 6'8", biggest superpower ever. Um, I could be out of muscle. I'm low-key an upgrade. Now, now I'm I 300 mean, of muscle. Like... That's kind of hard to maintain. Like I'm just gonna eat mad protein every day. Okay. Now, like, now I don't even have to watch my calories. Ah, uh, three hundred is straight muscle. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm Miles Garrett. I'm LeBron James. <laughs> this is dream. That, this is fucking dream. At that point, I'm LeBron James. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it went so south. Yeah. Nah, the spit lost me. You lost me with the spit. You gotta, bro. you gotta, nah. like, you don't you, know who you chug spit it. that is. You, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> you chug it, though. Hair is like this much hair, bro. Oh. And it's too hard. Oh. You, you're not gonna get through it. You're gonna swallow. It's gonna get stuck. Ah. Ah. And it's so much of it. Oh, yeah, nah. Let's end this podcast already, bro. You got anything else you want to talk about? Anything else you want to say? Um, anything on your mind, bro? Every weekend, I'm gonna try and be on Twitch every weekend. I'm on duty this weekend, so I can't leave. Yeah, this, yeah. This shit. So try and stream every weekend, playing games, maybe just YouTube. Yeah. I know Corey gonna be with me most of the time. D Dub. Yeah. Feel me. We could do some reaction shits. That's what I was gonna say. We can react. I have some funny things. We can- we could react to um my 600 pound life. Yeah, run that. Yeah, I think you'll enjoy yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, got some people that, that could clip yeah. some shit. Remember I showed you? Yeah. So yeah, I got yeah. I got some guys. Then, but yeah. if there's any games that y'all like, put in the comments, bro. We got, I got a PC. I'll buy any game. Just let a nigga know. And I got an Xbox. I and mean, he got PS5. So I'll buy, buy any it. game too. We'll play whatever. But thank yeah, you again, bro. bro. Thank you for pulling up, especially short notice. Of course, my brother. You know what I'm saying real ones. Yeah. But thank y'all again for tuning in to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number number 132. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you like the channel, sub- uh, like comment you know what i'm saying post notifications is always great it always helps down below uh follow all our links on youtube tiktok we're almost at 600k on tiktok who would have thought shout out to y'all man yeah, almost at 30k on instagram shout out to y'all follow, subscribe we almost at 10k come on man it's yeah. not that hard it's all a follow is free follow is free. you know what i'm saying the more yeah. we grow the better the content you know mm-hmm. adventures with idiots episode two is coming out soon it's in the works people so yeah. tune into that and yeah, any last words, bro? Um, nah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We different, they're regular, no reggies, man. Gangsta. I'm gonna really go get it, yeah. I'm gonna really go get it, yeah.